Yes, my friend, you are live on air. You are a Muslim? Yeah. Can you confirm that? Can you say the Shahada? Yeah, Layla. <clears throat> Layla ha illallah Muhammadan Rasulullah. What does that mean? There's no God but Allah and Muhammad is the last messenger. But you just said there's no God. Yeah, but Allah. Okay. Have you ever heard of somebody saying there's no fake but fake? There's no fake but fake? No, there's no fake but fake. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, either there's fake or there's no fake. You just told me there's no fake but fake. Do you do we have fake or there's no fake? A fig is a plant or like a it's vegetable. It's a matter. Right? You are just replacing the word when you say to this to me. There's no, there's no God but Allah. Is God? Is Allah is God? Allah is God. Yeah. Okay, but you just say there's no God. Well, this is the name of God. There's no God. It doesn't matter. But that. you just said to me there's no God. How you deny the existence of God and then you confirm saying with Allah? I mean, this is this is this is silly. But anyway, I will go with that. So you call me to prove to me. Did you hear what we are saying, my friend? Yeah, you were talking about fig or swearing by something, right? Yeah, I mean, the, your God is really like it looked like he is too much into vegetables and fruits. Okay, well, okay. Why he swear by fig? Well, what, what is why? Uh, why God he swear by fig? What do you think? Because it's his creation. He created it, right? Well, my friend, everything in me is God a creation, correct? Which means if I go to the bathroom now and I do pee, is Allah going to swear by the pee which he made? Because he made me and whatever come from me is he's made too. So is no, God going to swear by make, the pee of make, Christian he bread? Didn't, he, didn't, he, he didn't make that. Your body did that. When That's not true. Just... That's not true. If God, he made the machine who make things, as an example, the true, you just said to me, the fig, Allah, he made the fig, right? But the fact okay, is, okay. Allah, I have a, no, no, I have listen, a listen. For Allah, he, he just made the tree. He did not make the fig. And then the tree made <laughs> the fig. So according to you, what come from the tree is made by Allah. But what come from, from, from me is not made by Allah. What kind of logic okay, is that but logic? CP, okay, I, I have a challenge for you because I've been looking at your videos for a long time, right? Well, you, know, and, uh, you know, the problem is uh, uh, my mom, she told no, me, no, but if my, you, my, if... <laughs> my mom, she told me, don't accept any challenge, you know, because Muslim challenge is scary. Give me your challenge. Go ahead. Okay, if you if you show me why I should, I, if Islam is false, then I will leave Islam. If I show you why Islam is false, you will leave Islam. This is the challenge. If you show me, yeah, if you show me why I should leave Islam and why it's not the truth, then okay. I will leave Islam because I watched your videos and I have some doubts, but it's very hard to leave. Okay. But like, yeah, so that's my challenge. If you if you show me, I will leave right okay. now. Can this, you can you give, can you give me yourself the most uh, strong reason for you to believe in Islam so I can go from there? What is the most strong thing uh, for you? Um, I, be I believe in like the miracles, like the miracles that Muslims say. Like and what? The sh uh, like the fake? Like, um, <laughs> no, not the fake. Huh. Um, probably, um, uh, um, I don't know, just miracles, like just, like just any miracles. So you believe you believe in Islam because of the miracle, but when I ask you what the miracle, you say I don't know what miracles. I mean that is that's too much. Give me one of them. <laughs> uh, the the um, the bee one, the way the honey makes the bees make the honey. The bee. Thank you. You see, remember remember what I told you that Allah He swear by my pee. Now Allah will swear by the bee and He will swear by the honey. Look at this. You just mentioned okay. to me the bee honey, right? But according to the yeah. Quran. According to the city of Allah, the the, uh -huh. the 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 honey of the bees is their poo poo. No. Okay, you want to see? Yeah. <laughs> All right. According to the Quran, bees they eat a fruit and they poo poo honey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me see. Put it up on your thingy because I can't see it. Well, what do you mean? Let me see. You are the one who mentioned the verse. You do not know what it, what the verse is. Read it. Here we go. No, I know the verse. Go, in go and eat something. all the produce of the earth. What the what the what the bees do? They go and eat all the produce of the earth. But by the way, it says 
fruits, not produce. If you change the translation, this guy is an idiot. It doesn't say produce, really. It says, <laughs> it says a fruit, thimar. So if you go to different translator, the C, I think the the uh, the bees is he, he, they went to eat the the, the fig. <laughs> so then uh -huh. then eat the fruit and follow the yeah. ways of your Lord made easy for you. Allah, He made easy the way for them. But uh -huh. they, as I know that bees they fly, they don't go on roads. But anyway, let's go. Uh -huh. There come forth from their belly a drink. <laughs> so the, according to the stupid Allah, the bees they eat fig. And they piss honey. No, but doesn't the nectar get collected in the bees? This is not um, what it says. This is not anyway. what it says. You see, my friend, when you say the nectar, the nectar is not is not the food they eat yet. It is something they store, correct? Yeah, in the okay. belly. But there's Allah saying, bee, no, Allah saying you eat from the fruit. You eat from the fruits. Uh-huh. You eat from the fruit, and then after you eat from the fruit, honey will come from your belly. Okay. How is that happening? Uh, well, Muslims said that the way I read articles and the Muslim sheikh up in the in the mosque explained to me that <clears throat> this is the way uh, that they store the nectar and this is where the bee the honey my friend, comes my from. Friend, can can't Allah say go and collect the nectars? <laughs> I mean, Arabic is very simple. Allah, I know. if Allah want to make a miracle, He can say. Okay, be, be, let's let me. I get to be here. Hey, B. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Okay. I translate for you now. I collect nectar and I put it in my mouth. All right. And I put it in a tube inside my mouth. And then I take it to the to the hive, which means the bee which collect the nectar is not the same one who make it honey. Do you agree? Yeah. But the yeah. Quran says the opposite. Okay, 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 fine. What do you mean, okay, 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 fine, my friend? You made a challenge for me. Uh, you know, okay, how, you know uh, see, I told you, my mom, she told me, don't accept <laughs> yeah, any challenge. Because I don't know, they haven't explained it to me like this, so I don't know. Like, I'm my confused. friend, you do not need the explanation or the explanation. It, uh, this is science. You go, you will see that there's a bee who collect the nectar, and there's other bees who make the honey, you know? All right. Yeah, By the yeah. way, I used to work as a bee for three years, so I'm expert in that, you know? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I was like, you know, I've been given the rank uh, to be like, uh, do you know, do you know Mr. Bean? Yeah. He was with me. This is why they call him Mr. Bean, because he was Mr. Bean. Wow. Yeah, that's true cool. story. Sahil Bukhari, brother. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude, you're crazy. Okay. I am the crazy. Um... Oh, God is the crazy. Uh, what the heck with this guy? This this is a God explaining to us how how according to the stupid God, this this the, the bees they eat fruit and they poo poo honey, and that's why we, are, we okay. so we are eating the poo poo of the of the bees. <laughs> so bee does not come from, <clears throat> from uh, so honey does not come from the belly. It's the nectar, right? A friend, first of all, the one who go out. This is the worker bee go out to collect the nectar. Yeah. Is not going to eat and honey come from it. Do we agree in that? Yeah, because they okay. crush the nectar down to sugars and then from that they not, make no, the no, honey not only come, that, right? Not only that. The, then the bee who collect the nectar is going to take it back to the hive. Correct? Uh-huh. Okay. And then uh -huh. in the hive, there is a process of making honey. Uh -huh. so it's not the same bee. Right away from her mouth will come honey. Okay. You know? All right, okay. And okay. I am not a scientist, I... you know, either or like I'm, by the way, I'm very well educated in this, uh, not because I was like, you know, working in the bee field for 30 years. And I, I, I used to work a po as a postman for, for the bee's hive. I, I delivered them all the messages. So they tell me, see, I know see, all the secrets. Okay, CP, I, I read your book and it, it, it said on the, it said in the book that, the Muslims, Muslims have five um, obligations to complete, but you said there's a sixth one, which is jihad. Mm -hmm. That Muhammad was commanded to fight against non-Muslims until Cor they said correct. there's no God but Allah. Yeah. But, 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 but how? If this is the case, how come? Like, I'm not told about it as a as a Muslim to do this. Okay. What What is the best way to go to heaven? The best way, yeah. 
I think in the Quran, uh, I saw your video. You said that um, to fight or something, right? Jihad. Or to fight or, or be jihad, killed you know? or killed. Yeah, or you know, to, to jihad. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is the the most uh, uh, beloved act by Allah. So how the Muslim they say? Can you show me? Uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, all over. Let us go. Okay, no no problem. There's somebody is trying. You see, when a Muslim he call right away. The other Muslim they try to call, but not to talk to me. <laughs> they try to call yeah. to drop the call. You know. Yeah, you know they don't they don't want to talk. By the way, they, if you if you if you drop your call now, they will stop calling. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh, if you go in the Quran, <clears throat> uh huh, you will see in the Quran as an example in the ch in the in the chapter of the spider. Right. You, by the way, your God is like a zoo God. You know, I don't know. He have everything. He have elephant zoo. You know, I mean, yeah, uh, cow. Okay. <laughs> what the heck is that? Okay. So if you go here. It says, let us see this verse. Uh huh. Chapter 29, verse number 69, it says, As for those who strive, this is the word jihad, fast translation, do jihad, hard in us or cause, hmm? we uh -huh. will surely guide them to our path. Right, okay. Okay. So the confirmation of the right path, if you do, Jihad. This is a promise. But what does it mean by the right path? Is that heaven? Which means to go to heaven. Okay. You know? Yeah. And then the Quran says in chapter uh, of Ali Amran, uh, don't think that those who die or killed for the sake of Allah, they are dead, but they are living. So this is not a promise for anyone except those who do jihad. You as a Muslim, you die, you die. That's it. You are dead. But if you, yeah, if you do jihad, you don't die, you will be alive, but in different place, supposedly. So here we go, chapter 3, verse number 169, saying that. You think that they are dead, but in fact they are alive. This is a promise never been given to anyone. So which means all the other five the Muslims they give us are false. This is the most important one. Because okay. other ones, they don't give you life even when you die. You have life after, yes, those are alive. Mm -hmm. You know, even they are killed. You think they are killed. You think they are dead. But did Muhammad ever kill anybody? Well, Muhammad, he's a he's a he's a coward. You know, he's a guy who shout at people in the parking oh in the parking God, lot. That's not nice. And when people they okay. fight with him, you know, he he cry. Yeah, Muhammad, he don't kill really. Muhammad, he he hide behind. He he ordered his men to go and kill. Uh, but he was, uh, as I know, he was like a choppy guy. He do not know. He is not fast and moving. He hardly, he ha hardly, he can climb a donkey. So how he can fight, you know? Right. Okay. Yeah. And you know the Quran but, says. But, and but the, did and he the, ever? Quran, did he let, ever? Let me ask you: Is 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 those who do jihad is equal to those who don't do jihad in Islam? Uh, equal? I, I'm not sure. Will the Quran confirm that those who do jihad are not equal to those who don't? Mm -hmm. So where you say that? Well, in the Quran too. So when when somebody says to you, "Oh, a Christian prince is adding number six, and he believed this is the most important one," well, I have I have the proof. Uh -huh. Not equal are those of believers who sit at home, you know, to the uh -huh. the one who do jihad. Well, okay. This is okay. A, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm showing, what verse is I'm, this? I'm showing you. I'm showing you the verses in the front of your eyes. You it's know? just very slow. The thingy. It's just... Yeah, this is a chapter four, verse number ninety-five. Okay, four ninety-five. Okay. So those who go kill are not equal to those who don't do kill. So now, mm -hmm. if you don't mm -hmm. go and join jihad with Putin, you know, mashallah, you know, uh, Qadarov, he, he decided to do jihad with Putin to be his puppy because Putin became Allah and uh, Qadarov is worshiping Putin. So you okay. do jihad, you are not equal to anyone. You are not equal to the Muslim who stay home. So why the Muslim okay. didn't add it? it? Shouldn't be number six. It should be number one. Okay, but 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 Muhammad, like in the Quran, uh, in the Quran it says like um, uh, to not fight against non-Muslims because uh, unless those who what no, is, this is I think this is abrogated. Like, this is abrogated. No, no, it said no. It says it's, I heard Ali Dawa say it in Speaker's Corner. He uh -huh. said that that um, if do, do not fight against those only if they 
uh, remove you from their homes or or something like that or kick you out of their homes. Uh, There's who, a verse in the Quran that says that. Is that the guy who wear a jacket from the circus and his wife, she gave him a grape? <laughs> I don't I don't know. But I mean, this is a kid. Yeah, okay, what well, this guy is saying. This guy is a kid, no, my friend. Okay, no, no. Are you saying to me that Ali Dawa is a scholar? He don't even have high school. I mean, who is this guy? He's a circus yeah, guy. But He's a joker. Like, you know, at least, you know, mention to me, someone is, is, is noble, like uh, Mimi Hijab. You know, he showed his nipples. My friend, there's a chapter in the Quran. It's called <laughs> the chapter of Bara'a. Bara'a, which is a tawbah. Bara'a, okay. Muhammad, he made it clear that he made, he washed his hand from all the agreement. So those are previous agreement. Don't fight uh -huh. those who don't fight you. Don't kick them unless they kick you. Don't, don't, don't. But this is when Muhammad was weak. When Muhammad, he became become strong, he said, freedom from all obligation. That's why this chapter, right. the real name is Bara'a. Bara'a mean, uh, like, uh, I wash my hands from everything. You know, I'm, I'm free from it, you know? Okay. And then later, they okay. change the name and they make it a Tawbah. So Muhammad, he made a treaty and he have no obligation no more to follow the treaty. Mm -hmm. Go for the coming four months and see killing as much as you want. You know, and you know, when, okay. and the funny is uh, the the reason the Quran is confusing. When you read verse number one, then verse number two, verse number three, you think they are coming in order. Right. And this is where the confusion coming from. But the first, the the fact that verse number one is the last one in the in the in the, in the chapter, not the first one. Yeah, but 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 my question, my question was, I think I said it before. I know there's a lot of things in the Quran that says kill the kafar and the pagans or whatever. My friend, just but just to show you, just but to show these you. things are from just to show wars, you. Though, How, right? this, is, this is the same chapter, chapter nine, verse number seven. How can there be a treaty with Allah and His Messenger for those for the idolaters? As a friendly way. No, he, how you can have a treaty with them? You can't have a treaty with them. You cannot. Why? Because simply Muhammad, you see, Muhammad is a is a deceiver. They, you know, they went to Putin. They told him, "Are you going to attack Ukraine?" He said, "He swear by Allah th a thousand times." But Putin day, is not a Muslim. He's a Christian. No, he is a Muslim because he do the act of Islam. My friend, he's a criminal. He's acting the act oh. of Islam. Yes. So listen carefully here. Uh, uh, when Muhammad he sent a letter to the king of the Roman. Convert okay. to Islam or die. Did he? Where fight? did he say that? I heard you say that before. Where did he? I never saw any reference. Can you just show me that so I can be? Uh, do you watch uh, my? Okay. Do, do you always watch my videos or only read my book? I watch your videos time to time, and I have some doubts about Islam, so that's why I wanted to call you because okay. I, like what they tell me is different from what you're showing me, and it's right. just messing with well, my mind. Are, this is the Hadith. Uh, uh, Allah, uh, false messenger, he sent. A letter to the king of the Roman, and he said to him, Aslim Taslim, a threat. You know, this guy never fought him, he never sent an army. The Roman never invade Mecca, they never occupy any territory. And they I have, can't see it, and they have no interest. Well, this is Sahih Muslim. Uh, uh -huh. uh, sorry, this is uh, here, this is Adab al, al Mufrad, uh, uh, hadith number. Uh, 1109 but uh, you can you can find it in, in, in sahih uh, muslim too how many uh, how many battles did muhammad have in his uh, in his life my friend muhammad he left, in muhammad he had zero battles he, ne he never he had zero he had zero because he never fought he sent but i thought he he, he, he sent, went and attacked or no, something he, like he, that when no? they say muhammad attack it's not muhammad and muhammad is a, is a, is a coward he don't dare to attack anyone. He never Okay, attacked. well, how many did his one, tribe? There's only one time where did. Muhammad was in the back and somebody threw a rock and he broke his four <laughs> teeth. That's why when he speak, he speak like Zach and Nick. He spit all over, you know? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I don't I'm, know if it said I'm teeth, not, though. I'm not, joking. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking, my friend. The, the hadith well, says... Well, I thought it said the face. I no. know, I know, but it said face, not teeth, though. It said his face was dripping in blood. Okay, well, what, what, what they broke? They're, I don't know, something else. It's not his, I, but how do you know his teeth, though? Okay, well, uh, 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 what is the uh, Rubaiya? Rubaiya, I do not have a clue. Hmm. Okay, let us see what the Hadith says. 
Okay. Uh, oh, can you show me? Uh, by before you go there, just show me where you threatened the the is, the, the Christians. This is your fatwa. Thingy. This is your fatwa here. A Muslim saying, well, you know, somebody said, uh, uh, somebody. Uh, uh, let, let me let me find this is this is a fatwa. Somebody is asking. Do you speak Arabic? Me? Yeah. Uh, no. No. Why you don't speak Arabic? I don't speak Arabic because okay, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm listen, from Europe. Listen, listen. I'm going to ask Harut and Marut. You know. Uh huh. I will use. I will say some uh, black magic words, and you repeat after me, and right away you will start speaking Arabic. <laughs> okay, okay. 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 Say. Let me offer. Let me open first the 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 chapter of Harut and Marut. Oh, but you are guys. joking. You think I'm joking? This is my friend. We do this for a living, my friend. We are here doing black magic. You know, I have customers coming from around the world. You listen to me. I'm, 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 you know, this is not. Uh, this is true. So listen. Here, Allah, but I don't know how does black magic exist in the 21st century. Show respect, please. Chapter two, verse one o two. Okay. They followed the evil ones, gave out falsely against the power of Solomon. You know the power of Solomon. He can sleep with ninety nine women, nonstop. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah. He's he's like you know not so strong because I don't know why he could not finish. You know, one hand. That was Shaitan came in the and image then, of him, right? Look, and then, and, but the evil ones teaching man magic. Who the evil one? But who teach the evil ones magic? Such a thing came down in the Babylon to the angel of the Babylon, Babylon, uh, uh, the angels Marut, Harut, and Marut. But neither of those taught anyone such a thing without saying, disclaimer, we are here for a trial. So don't do blasphemy. And they learned from them the means to sow discord between the man and the wife. Are you married? No, I'm not married, no. Okay, you know what? Thank God, because no, I don't want to. No, listen, I want you to get married because I want to show you my power now. I learned from Harut and Marut <laughs> how I can make you fight with your wife and get divorced what do you think what verse and chapter is this by the way this is the chapter of the cow you know the chapter yeah, of the, but what surah? the chapter of the cow uh, uh surah yeah. uh, 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 uh you know uh, surah is a chapter yeah but what but like what number surah oh, what, like verse, six, one seven, verse, huh? yeah okay one or two 102, what's <laughs> the cow? 102, okay, I'll search up the cow, no problem. Yeah, by, by the way, do you know why your God, he called the chapter, this chapter, the cow chapter? Uh, no. No? No. Think again. Why you call this the chapter of the cow? I don't well, know. Well, according to Allah, and this is the laughable, laughable book of God, a man, he killed somebody, he's a Jewish guy, you know? Right. They were fighting over a credit card, obviously. So this Jewish guy, uh -huh. you know, he killed. He was killed by other guy. He's a Jewish too. And then they want to know who killed this guy, you know. So they come to right. Moses and they told him, "Hey Moses, can you ask your God to find who is the one, uh, you know, who killed uh, this uh, guy, you know?" So Moses, you know, he have a connection. He's a Jew, you know. They have connection everywhere. You know, in the White House, yeah. with Putin, everywhere. Like, wherever you go, the Jews have connection. And it's, uh, Allah is no different. So, you know, uh, they con uh, he connect with Allah. And he told him, bring some beef. And uh, some, they say it was the penis of the cow. Some, they say the tail. Some, they say the tongue. <laughs> they bend in okay. this color. And then they say, so we say, destroy the body with the piece of the haifar. You know, haifar is like a kind of, of cow. They, they do haifarin thing, you know. So... And, uh -huh. uh, and this is how Allah, he raised people from death. Right. What do you mean, right? Okay. What do you think about well, this? Well, I mean, I understand what you said, but I'm kind of confused. How did he raise them up from dead by the piss of the cow? Not the piss, the, by beating him, by beating the guy. The guy is dead. He was killed by a, a dagger, you know. The guy, you know, you know, he told him, give me your wallet. The guy did not give him the wallet. Give me your credit card. He did not give him a credit card. The guy he put a dagger in his, you know, in his pocket. Uh, you know, this is, you know, this because this guy is a Jew. You know, he, uh, you know, and so he killed him. And then the, you know, the Musas, you know, Moshe, 
He told Allah how we can get this guy to tell us how it happened. Allah, he told him, get some beef, you know. So Moshe, he went all the way to India. He asked the Hindus permission to kill a cow. The Hindus refused. They said to him, we will go in war with you if you do that because cow is very dear for us. So Moshe, this is why Moshe, by the way, he used to be Indian, but he left because he cannot do it there. So he moved to a land, there's no Hindus. And then he killed the cow and he beat the guy. And then the guy, he come like, you know, zoom, you know, like he stand up, like he just his yeah. head, you know, like his, his half body. He stood, sit down, and he told him, the guy who killed me, his name is Jack Shalom, and he died again. Wow, okay, yeah. that's, uh... Wow, okay. But no, seriously, so can, can you actually, because I'm, I just like, show me something else that will like, give me more doubts, because I'm so like, but listen, listen, this Allah, he raised people, the verse me. says, the verse says, if you open it, it says, and this is how Allah, he raised people from death. How? By beating them by beef. Okay. I want you, I want you to help me here. Why God, he raised people by beating them by beef? Why God raised people by death by beating them with beef? I don't know because uh, because that's just something he does. I don't know. I think this is the power of beef. <laughs> Possibly. Do you think? <laughs> do you think your God is a Hindu God? I think he's not a he's not a Hindu God. So why? I mean, why beef? Why why the cow? Why the cow? Because cows are just, I don't know, his, I don't know, he used a cow, I don't know why. why. Why not a turkey, like Erdogan, you know? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, what about chicken, but, like Kadarov? I don't know, okay. I don't know, but CP, seriously, can you, I want to, I, I asked you this question at the start, can you show me, because I, I, I asked a Muslim, my friend in Saudi Arabia, <laughs> he's a friend of me, he plays with me hmm. uh, on games and stuff, and I said to him, I asked some questions. Did Muhammad like, is it true that Muhammad ever like killed people or whatever, or killed somebody at least? And he said, no, mm. he never did any such thing. So is that true or is that false? Because well, I'm just confused. There is a story, you know, you see, as I said, Muhammad is a coward. He don't really, uh, he don't go for war, but you order killing. As an example, did you hear yeah. the story of Umm Qurfa? No, I haven't. Umm Qurfa, she was a very well-respected woman. And uh, she refused to accept Muhammad as a prophet. You know? Right. And the Muslim report that Muhammad, he ordered this woman to be tied up between two camels. Between two camels. Okay. And he ordered the camels to run in two different direction. Why did he do, how, for what reason? He, he cut her two pieces alive. Yeah, but why? Because she refused him. She refused well, him as she, a prophet. Muhammad, was she he Muslim war. or a slave? Muhammad, no, she is a free woman. She is very well respected. Actually, she used to stop war. This is how much the Arab respect her. If she put, if she put her scarf between the two army, this is what she did according to Muslims once, she put her scarf between two armies and she said, the one who passed my scarf first is the one who disrespect me. So both army went home because nobody dared to disrespect her. This is how respected she is. So Muhammad, because this woman, she refused to accept him as a prophet. He killed her by ripping her two part. And then he took her daughter to be a sex slave and let me show you some reference wow okay um, i never knew that <laughs> thanks for telling me that yeah let us see uh i don't uh, i don't say things without giving proof so let me give you a reference um, And not only she is a woman, she is a very old woman. Okay. Okay, I will use Google Translation to help you. Yeah. And I will post the link. Actually, I believe there is a book translated in English for this, but I don't know where the link it is for it. Uh, the book name at tabaqat al-Kubra, Muhammad ibn Sa'ad, volume number two, page number 90. 
and I'm going to use Google Translation. Mm -hmm. Translate to Google. If you go to the end of the page, here it says, <clears throat> she was a very old Umukrifa. She was a very old woman, and he killed her violently. He tied her legs with ropes. Then he tied her between two camels, and he, you know, the translation is not good here, and he make her to, to, to imagine how filthy he is. Yeah, but like, I don't, I, I just, I don't think this was, I don't think this is true, bro. This is obviously. My friend, this is, this is your books. This is not my books. You see, this is, the, this is the book, Muhammad ibn Sa'ad, al tabaqat al-Kubra, very number two, page number 90. And this is exists in many Islamic books anyway. So if you say to me, I don't think it's true. Yeah, this is your, you want to play the game as all Muslims, they, they, they play. No problem. It's up to you. <laughs> No, yeah. but like, I'm just, you know, I'm just, because I never listen, heard this listen. before. So if this is a book I'm written saying. by a Christian prince, then you have the right to say, well, it's not true. But if a Christian prince is quoting what is written by you Muslims, how you say to Christian prince, this is not true? Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Why are you Muslim? Yeah. You know, the Muslims are proud about their prophet very much. They worship him. So... When, yeah. when those Muslims they well, wrote we don't this, worship him, we just we no, you worship him. him. The truth is, you worship him. And when they wrote we those stories, when they wrote those stories, the manner we are talking about today is not exist. And the Muslims are so proud about how he killed this woman. They are so excited. So for them, when they mention it, and this is the link I'm going to post it. I made short link because it's have an Arabic title. It's going to be long. I just posted the, the link for the reference, guys. So save it. So later, don't ask me for the reference about how Muhammad, he raped a woman, very old woman. Very. How old was she? Uh, according to my understanding, more than 86 something. Oh, wow. Yeah, so between 80 old. and 80, uh, maybe, maybe 90. There's no exact number to be sure from. But she, it, the, the book says clearly, very old woman. And this is a statement you don't say to someone is just 60, you know, very old. Is there, is there the reason in that the reason for her killing is my friend that, there's um, no there's no reason right? can explain this let us say let us say first she's a woman correct secondly she's yeah. old number three uh -huh. if i was a leader of an army and she is not really i mean she have a 13 a son muhammad he killed them all and he took the daughters she have a daughter she is very beautiful he took her as a sex slave right. but there's no reason to do what he did. You want to kill her? Let us say a person was in war with me. You know, I was fighting mm -hmm. uh, 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 like uh, this family. You know, they are my enemies. And then I killed the 13 sons. Why I want to kill this old, very old woman? And in a, not only kill her, he tied her between two camels and he ripped her to pieces. This is not killing no more. This is torture. It's evil. Okay. The same Muhammad he did. There's a story about supposedly. Uh, uh, can I? I want that 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 post that you linked is that Shia website? Yeah, but is this is some... this is the the book is a Sunni, a Sunni book. But, but what if uh, like if this I is show library? Some this is library. Imams and they, no, this but is... if I show some Sunni, they will say, "Oh, this is Shia," and you know, the, so. My friend, know? my my friend. Uh, uh, it, it, it doesn't does really matter if even if it's Shia book or, or Sunni book. Do the Shia... Well, Sunnis, do the Shia... Sunni said that the Shias lie. My friend. Okay. What about the Sunni? This, this, is, a, this, about... First, this is a Shia library. They have all books. They have Al-Bukhari. Is Al-Bukhari book of Shia? No. They have Muslim. They have all books. But Shias don't uh, take Sahih Al-Bukhari or Sahih Muslim, This right? is library, my friend. This is library. Okay, library. library. Okay. This is okay. library. It's not. It's not about Shia. It's not about Sunni. It's not about you know. This is library. They have books. They have thousands and thousands of books. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and the story about your prophet, you know, putting nails in the eyes of those shepherd who supposedly they killed the shepherd and run away, or um, um, people who left Islam, you know. Wait, wait, wait! They killed who? There's a bunch of guys, they came to Muhammad, they brought their animals, and they convert to Islam. 
Muhammad, uh -huh. he told them to put their animals there, you know. Then they decide to run away. Obviously, they did not, you know, they found that Muhammad is a fraud. According to the Muslim stories. Uh, okay. But can you show me on what he put nails in their eyes? It's in the front of you. Okay, where well, it's loading. Uh -huh. When they came first time to Muhammad, Muhammad, he ordered them to drink the camel urine, you know, which is very weird, and uh, to drink from the milk, you know, and then when they wake up in the morning, they decide uh -huh. to take their camels. The Muslims, they say they are stealing camels, but as I see here, those people, they come to him, uh, it doesn't sound like they are stealing anything, but anyway, they, they took the camels, and they killed one shepherd in order to, st to steal, according to Muslims. And then when Muhammad, he cut them, he cut their hands, he cut their feet, and he put nails after he put it in fire. And he, he you know, he, uh, uh, what they call it in, uh, in English, when you uh, blind somebody with, uh, uh, with nails, he gagged, gogged, he gogged out their eyes. Okay, gogged out, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, this is and Sahih. there's tons of examples. All of this is Sahih. Well, how come nobody tells me the history of Muhammad? They keep saying, like, I went on YouTube to search his uh, documentary of his life, and the sheikhs and the imams are telling me his life, and they, everything's just, he's a peaceful man. I don't even understand how this is. Yeah, Muhammad is peaceful, but isn't, it, but isn't it the Quran says that those who do mischief in the earth cut their feet, cut their hands, cut their etc.? Yeah, yeah, but that mischief is like, uh, if you read the first verses of that, it says if you wage war, war, okay, against Muhammad and Allah. So it's not just like, uh, just go and killing them, if you wage war. Hmm. No. Wage, wage war in Islam is me now. I am according to Muslims, I'm waging war, so I deserve a punishment as the Quran says. Wage no, war is anyone, war. is anyone, no, anyone who oppose Allah, messenger, he is in war. And even if you don't actually oppose Allah, as long as you refuse to accept Islam, you're, you're at war. That's why the Quran chapter 9 verse number 29 says, attack those who believe not in Allah in the last days. Not those who attack you, those who believe not. Just because you don't believe not, you are at war with them. But that's uh, that's um, uh, the war. That's the, that was a battle between uh, a Roman Christian thingy and no, my friend, that, uh, the, the one who started. First of all, Israel. first of all, Muhammad he started killing the Christians and the Jews before he went to the Roman. And the Christian they never fought Muhammad. They never have a war with him, and there's no reason for him to kill them. And when he said, I "Kill them if they pay you jizya." Then don't don't stop killing but, them. But uh, the 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 speakers the Dawa team in Speakers Corner in London they said that um, they said that uh, all the all the wars or battles or whatever they threatened and they attacked uh, the Muslims. Well, I just showed it you. I just showed right? you the hadith where Muhammad he sent the letter to the Romans saying, "Become a Muslim, you will be safe." Aslam, Aslam. So it is yeah, Muhammad who sent of, Muhammad. He sent a letter. He sent two. He sent letters to the Persian, to the Roman, and to the. Uh, did the Persian attack Muhammad? No, he attacked them. Uh, Persia is far away. At the end of the war. Okay. Okay. So why the Muslim army went there? I mean, I don't know. Muslim lies. But, but the Muslim lies is bigger than the the biggest poopoo in the earth. So the, but the, maybe this was so, just one so time. So the Muslims, maybe most when, of the when, when Muhammad he sent his army to fight the Persian and the Roman and uh, to, to Egypt, you know, the ruler ruler of Egypt, of Egypt, he sent them gifts. He did not fight him. He sent them gifts. He sent them Maria the Copt and her cousins. As, Is it true that Egypt was never a Muslim country and it was forced by Muslims to sure, become Muslim? No, this is this is the land of the Coptic and the Coptic were occupied by the by the Roman. But the Roman of, uh, of, uh, of that territory, the Roman ruler, he was a friend to Muhammad. He sent him a gift. Muhammad, you cannot, you cannot trust Muhammad. He take your gift, second day he go and kill you. So they never fought him. Name for me, when the Egypt attack, 
the Roman in Egypt attack Muhammad never. How they can so do the, so? The how, how even attack, they can? The how even they can the do so, my friend? There is there is a sea between them. Egypt is not in the border of Saudi Arabia. But how did they manage to attack Egypt then? They took the you know they they, they attack in uh, uh, they took the Boats. they took the Jordan they take Syria and then they invade you know they went all the way to Egypt. Anywhere they can cross the sea. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just I'm just confused. So what do you think? Because like History... I pray every I pray like five times a day and I like wake up for Fajr every morning. Why you pray five times a day? Five. Why you pray five times a day? Uh, because I'm very strict about my religion and I just like Okay, um... where in the Quran it says pray five times? <laughs> Oh my God! Why did I have to say that? Because I, I I know it says three times in the Quran, but it's like there's five five names of the prayers mentioned in the Quran. What, what five prayer? Okay, can you show me the five prayer mentioned in the Quran? I think there's a, there's a verse in the Quran that mentions all the prayers. No. Uh, teach me. I want to learn. I don't know the verse, but and you know, you see, okay, you know Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab. He says the Quran says. If this is a book made by other than Allah, is going to be uh, not from God. Contra there's a contradiction. If there's a contradiction, correct? Okay. Okay. So if you say to me, there's various mention five prayer, and then the Quran says pray three times, well, two at the end of the day, and one in the you know in the approach of the night. Uh, well, maybe you join. Maybe you put two prayers in one prayer. You know, and in the last night prayers, maybe no, just one prayer. Here we go. It says this is Allah. He is God. in them how many? Time to pray. Establish a prayer. The two end of the day. This is mean the end of the day and the beginning of the day. You know, according to Muhammad, when the sun rise, you know, this is end of a okay. day. And when the sun set, this is the other end of a day. You know? Okay. So there's two end of the day. And th those you pray on them. And when the night approach, so three times. The one who make it five, it was Moses. When Muhammad he went to Allah supposedly, and Allah enjoyed Muhammad with fifty prayer. Then uh, Mush, okay. Mushay, you know the, the Jewish guy, he have a calculator. You know the Jews, they have calculator. So he said to him, Habibi Muhammad, how you can pray fifty times? So you're a prophet. He went back to Allah and he asked him for discount. Have you ever heard okay. of a God he give discount from fifty to five? Uh, well. Well, it's just how God does. I mean, why can't I mean in the Bible God changes his mind a lot about different no, things too, right? No, no. Yes, when Moses came to ask Jesus about uh <clears throat> to not kill or punish some type of people, and then God yeah. said don't kill them or something. Okay, but this did not change his mind. This did not change his mind. About... Well, it was his order was first to no, no, kill no, them, no, and no, Moses no, asked Jesus no, to this, not kill them. This is what uh, asked Jesus, what what are you talking about? Listen. So, oh God! No, if you want to give me something, uh, give me a reference so we can read, and we, we you will see that you are wrong. But here, this God he told Muhammad fifty prayer, right? Okay. Okay. But what's wrong with God changing his mind? It's I not mean, about changing his mind. It's not, not not about changing his mind. I mean, the guy you just gave him fifty prayer. Why you gave him fifty prayer if he cannot do it? Because the Muslims won't be able to do fifty. There's Muslims okay, today that can't so even do five. You are saying that Allah is wrong. So Muslims <clears throat> cannot do 50, you know? No, he wasn't wrong. He wasn't wrong. Uh, I, I, he was just, it was just maybe, I don't know. It's just something that you he just said. said. You just said the Muslims cannot do 50, correct? It'll be really hard, yeah. No, it's not very really hard. It's, uh, it's, it's impossible. How many hours a day? You sleep eight hours, right? Yeah. Okay, at least. I mean, some people sleep more. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So if we have 16 hours, I'm going to use a calculator. This is made by the, the Christians. Uh, mm -hmm. This is why the numbers will be false now because the Christian calculator is wrong, you know. So if we have 16 hours left and we have 50, uh, 50 prayer, so we are going to divide 50 to 16. Yeah, but one prayer for me takes like maybe, uh, maybe like eight minutes maybe seven minutes okay eight minutes or seven minutes but you need to do evolution before the prayer correct yeah but not all not every not every time before you pray it just depends if you went to the toilet beforehand so you spend the whole day you don't go to the toilet no but like if i'm praying five times a day i don't i maybe have to do if, you touch, like your, if you touch your wife you have to do evolution 
Just well, touch her hand. I don't have a wife. So uh, you know, if good. you touch your mother, you know, you 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 have to do ablution. Uh, but anyway, okay, okay, so ablution. Fifty okay, time, ahead, fifty time, points. divide to sixteen. This is without the ablution. That's mean you okay. have to pray three time an hour. Correct. Okay. Okay. That's mean you have to pray every twenty minute. No, not three times an hour. Why? Why do you say three times an hour? Fifteen divide to sixteen. We said we sleep eight hours, at least. Okay. I mean, you might if people don't sleep eight hours really. I mean, if you are. Well, I sleep. I know I sleep about nine, nine and a half. Yeah, I sleep twenty four hours. You know, I'm talking to you now, sleeping by the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm sleep. Amen. I'm a sleeping talking person. As you really, you know, he's talking to you now. So, uh, so this is impossible. And even the Hadith says that, you know, the Musa's he told Muhammad, well, your people cannot do that, right? And obviously right. Muhammad is convinced, my people cannot do that. So Musa's he told him, go back to Allah and ask him to lower it. So from 50 to five. Why Allah don't give oh, him five from the beginning? I mean, what, well, yeah. and how Musa's is there, by the way, isn't Musa's dead? Oh, his spirit is there. Huh? No, his spirit is there. No, no he, he did not see his spirit. He see he, his spirit. He, his spirit is there. Yeah, that's what I said. His spirit that's, is there. That's false, my friend, because resurrection, after resurrection, prophets and a human being, all of them, their their body resurrected with the soul and then reunited. Oh, me. that reminds me of a question. Uh, I heard you say uh, in one of your videos to a guy that... <clears throat> Uh, in the in the surah in the Quran, it says that Muhammad before Muhammad, all messengers passed away. Before what? Before Muhammad, all messengers passed away. Yeah, the Quran says that, not me. Yeah, but the is that but in the English translation, it's, it doesn't say. Well, oh, this is false some. translation as usual. What do you expect? It says so قد, 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 قد is harf istihqaq. قد خلت. Okay. Which means it's already accomplished. All messengers before them did pass away. Chapter 3. Okay. Chapter 3, verse 144. Uh, chapter 5, verse number 75. Like here, chapter 5, verse number 75 it says, And the Messiah, the son of Maryam, he is just a messenger. And all messengers before him, they pass away. Let's click at the translation. Okay. The Muslim translation they say many messengers were uh, pass away, but this is not true. There's nowhere the word many is exist, and I change any Muslim to show me where the <coughs> word many is exist. It says Qad khalat min qablihi. All messengers before him they pass away. You change the translator. This is Yusuf Ali. Let's see the different one. Let's see this okay. guy Sarwar. You know. Uh, Mary so all messengers was right? no Amen. more was more than the messenger before whom uh, uh, lived many other messengers what is that <laughs> this translation is using Google maybe let us uh, use different idiot uh, Shakar okay uh, apostle before him have indeed passed away the apostle, all of them. So, uh, and this is contradiction because even Muslim they claim that there's a prophet. His name is Idris. Allah, He took him up to heaven. So, is Idris in heaven or not? They will say, well, the Quran is not making it clear. Then, yeah, but it says before whom there lived many, many other messengers. That doesn't mean all. Many means like just like no, my uh, friend, my friend. Like there, the word many is not exist. You can you can take this. Uh, there is a Muslim website, Islam, I think, Quran.com, something like this. You can move the, uh, the mouse over the word, and they will explain, they will translate word okay, by word. Okay, okay, I believe you, I believe you. Yeah. It's no, in no, Arabic, you don't right? need to believe so, me, my friend. You don't need to believe me. You can ask anyone. <laughs> Go right now to ask anyone, or even those who you claim that they are teaching in the speaker corner. Tell them, can you show me the word many? Here we go. This is a verse in front of us. And here we go. Right. I have, uh, we have almost 1400 Muslims, or uh, I don't know how many, and more later. I challenge, I have a challenge to any Muslim to show me the word many. Where is the word many? Where is many? Okay. There's no many. Messengers before him, they pass away. 
which mean all of them. And this is the same goes for the verses about Muhammad. And is Jesus dead in Islam or is he... No, he's like, alive. You are, I know you are a Muslim, the, I know, you do not know that. You are eating too much know, Hummus. The Quran says that, Ch chapter but... 3, listen. Chapter 3, verse 144 says, was, Muhammad, yeah, I know was, Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Here, but I'm saying that like, if this verse says it, then how come the other verse says he wasn't dead? How come what? If this verse says that he, he didn't, like many messengers, like all messengers, according to you, died, but in the other verse, it one in the verse in the Quran, it says that um, he was made to appear to the Jews that he was. Yeah, or we, to don't the wanna, we don't want to mix the topic now. Just focus with me one thing. So Muhammad is no more than a messenger, and here they inserted the word many. And I want you. Do you have a sheikh? Yeah, in the mosque. Can yes. you call him to join us? <laughs> How am I meant to call him? But like, why not? Because we want to show because you, I have one we want to show you that Muslims they lie, they lie to you as a Muslim, and there is no many. Okay, I'll ask him. He speaks Arabic. He's from Algeria, so I'll, okay, I'll no, show him. Don't ask I'll... him. Call him. Call him now. Just uh, you can ask him later. No problem. But can't you call him now? <laughs> yeah, just, just, because we want everybody to see. Because either I am making things up, or they are making things up. Well, why here it says many? Where is the where is the many? Where is the word many? Why Muslims how, are... how do you say many in Arabic? How do you say the word many? Uh, kathiron. Okay, and that's a not lot. in the Arabic? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, it's okay. I, I believe you. I believe you. So. No, I don't want you just to I don't believe think, me. I don't think he will answer because the guy is busy and he's probably in prayer. He's busy. Right he has four he's wives making babies and getting welfare from the government. No, he's a imam. He, he leads prayers. And he's in work too, probably. I don't well, know. So. What lead the prayer? I mean, he just bent over, he makes some fart and he makes money. What does that mean? Is that a job? <laughs> I don't know. Well, my friend, isn't the Muslim they pray five times a day? Yes, okay. obviously. And he prayed five times a day. So how that he became something special? He's just a person. He bent in front of them. By the way, about bending, is it true that Muslims, they get excited when they see the ass of a man in front of them and he bent? No. Okay, can you explain to me this hadith then? A bunch of Muslims, they come to the caliphate, Omar, and they were complaining that there's a Muslim, Imam, who have a nice ass and he is in the, they get tempted by his ass and they claim he is a feminist so they are upset Wait, uh, because no. this person he is uh, you know tempting them and they you know they get horny so uh, okay. yeah let us see, let us see uh, the hadith here okay here we go this is sahih okay. bukhari and this is sahih hadith <clears throat> i went to uthman ibn affan sorry uthman not umar Uthman, if not Ibn Farouk, the one who somebody did, uh, you know, make fun of him. Uh, I went to Uthman bin Affan while he was uh, be assigned, which means he became the Khalifa, and said to him, you are the chief of the Muslims in general, and you see what be fearing to you. We are led the Salat in a prayer by a leader of Al-Fitna. Al-Fitna, do you know what Fitna mean? Fitna? Yeah. Uh, no. It, it, a temptation, a, a troublemaker, you know, like he's a person, he tempts people, you know. Uh, he, okay. Here between two brackets, it says trial, affliction, etc. So the Muslim now they are suffering from affliction, brother. Trial, why? Oh, well, the, the story will continue. And we are mm. afraid of being sinful. Man, they are afraid of being sinful. Why? In following him, what the heck? Uthman, he said, Salat is, you see, the word Salat is a prayer. The Muslim, they say, when Muhammad, Allah, he do Salat to Muhammad. They mean it says a blessing, but salat is a prayer. It is the best of all deeds. So when the people do good deed, we'll do the same with them. And when they do bad deed, avoid those bad deed. Then as Zuhuri he said, in our opinion, one should not offer salat behind a feminine person unless there is no alternative. So look what happened. Right. The guy is effeminate. He did not do anything. He, you know, he is, uh, uh, you know, like he have, uh, he's soft like a female maybe, you know, maybe he don't have a beard, he don't have <laughs> hair in his leg or etc. So all what he did, he is leading the prayer now, he's the imam. He bent over and the Muslim, they are in trial, read with me carefully, trials and affliction and etc. And we, f we are afraid of being sinful following him. 
you know so why they are afraid you know why they are in trial because the guy is bending over who is the gay here right. the gay is those muslims is <laughs> not the guy because the guy he did not do anything the guy he just bent over to pray the one who get tempted is the muslim behind him who claim that they are not gays right. i want to ask you when i said to you do you muslims get tempted when they see an ass of a man in front of them you said no correct yeah so why those people are they are afraid to do <laughs> sin because uh i don't know obviously i i don't know I, I, there's so many hadiths i will give you three just, options i don't know maybe his ass is round and nice and maybe his oh ass is God. big and beautiful or maybe his ass is very attractive to them otherwise why i mean the guy he did nothing well, maybe it's just, maybe you don't know anything. I don't know. You can't just say those three examples because there could be more. My friend, the guy, he did not do anything. Do you see anything? Or what they are doing, he is saying, he is effeminate. He, didn't, he did not do anything. He did not do anything. He did not take off his clothes. He is not showing his bum. Like, what he's doing? <laughs> maybe, he, maybe he's wearing a very short jalabia and when he bent over, they see his butt. I don't know. Mm. Um, is it true? Yeah, I don't know. Is it true Sounds that shaitan he take care from the Muslim ass when they pray? I heard you say this before. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Okay, CP. I, 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 can you? Because Allah in the Quran says if uh, no, hold if on, book hold on, hold on, me, hold on. So is it true that shaitan take care from the anus of Muslims when they pray? Yes or no? Yeah, I heard you say this before. I know, yeah. but that's. I'm not saying if you heard it or not. I'm asking you. Did you experience? Is it true? Yeah. I I don't believe so. No, I okay. think that hadith is obviously made up. Oh, it's made up. Made up by who? By yeah. the Muslim. He, the Muslim they made up hadith. Well, Bukhari came like one eighty years after, almost two hundred years after Muhammad, uh -huh. and I just I just That's some deep. I believe are some I I believe that are made up because there's so many weird things that are written in hadith that I just so, I don't know. So what the Muslim do, and you are not different, obviously. You know, any hadith will make Muhammad look like stupid. <clears throat> no, say, it's not that. Well, I don't know. First of all, my friend, this is not a true. It's proven scientifically that Muslims, when they pray, shaitan take care of from their anus. There is a scientist. He's from Japan. His name is Mr. Honda Suzuki Yamayama Toyota. He said okay. that they made a scientific study and they put a, like a slow, very slow motion camera, you know, and they notice the shaitan is invisible. Remember that. Shaitan is right. invisible. So they notice that when a Muslim, he bent over to pray, uh, Shaitan, he uh, come and uh, he take hair from the Muslim anus and he caused them to fart, you know? And the, he was Satan, here we go. Verily, Allah Prophet says, Verily, Satan, he come to you while you are in prayer. And uh, then he take, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, hair from your anus from your buttocks and he stretch it this this is painful by the way i mean this is really painful yeah. don't try it okay. okay and and he stretch it and he see the worshiper uh, until like he keep doing that until he caused the worshiper to break wind uh, and the wind is coming out of him his anus so you are confirming to me that you never experienced such a thing no never ever i don't once. think i don't think there is a muslim i i just i don't know like i don't I mostly go after Quran to be honest with you because the hadiths, like I believe some hadiths, but hmm. stories like these just make it a bit, I don't know. I don't know. I notice when I go to the mosque, when I used to be in the Middle East, I always go to pee in the mosque. And I notice how bad the smell is inside the mosque. And I think to myself, maybe the Prophet was truthful. This is why the mosque smells so bad. Everybody is farting because shaitan, he will not stop until he calls you fart, you know? But anyway, you right. know better because you are a Muslim. So, uh, after all what I said to you until well, now well I don't know this much but, until yeah. now you are not convinced that Islam is false well yeah, like uh, my main thing here was just to see if Muhammad like killed people or whatever and jihad but I wanted to ask you just there uh, if um, because most like if the Quran <laughs> if the Quran has no mistakes right and no contradictions mm. then 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 that's what Allah says in the Quran. He says, if there's any mistake or contradiction, then it's not for me. So can you prove that statement? 
Well, mistakes, contradiction. I mean, I just showed you the, the bees. The Quran saying that bees eat, uh, eat, yeah, eat fruit and the Yeah, but that's something pizza. that I just have to okay. think about. Just show me something that makes sense. All right. Because I will if, show uh, you if makes, something makes sense. Because one mistake is but, too but much first, But first, I want you to understand my situation. I just received a message that my grandfather, he passed away. And he actually, they noticed, they told me that he died a year ago. And nobody noticed he's dead. Why? Because he was holding his, you know, he was an old man, you know. So he was holding a staff in his hand. And nobody noticed that he's dead. What do you think about this story? For a year, my grandmother, she did not notice he's dead. For one year, For... he was on a on a stick and he, yeah. he was holding a stick yes. could, nobody yes. saw he and was my, dead my grandmother everybody the cousins everybody come say hello grandfather nobody noticed that he's dead what do you think about it well I, I, if it's true then i mean what can i like i don't know did it happen or are you just joking no it's a true story you know my my grandfather will never lie you know you know my grandfather only she lied to my grandfather and the neighbors you know, she don't lie to any people. Like you know, only the only my grandfather. Was she, he standing? Was he standing up for one year and he was dead for one year holding a stick? He he was standing for one year. Okay, holding well, the stick. if he was standing, that's just impossible because your body will drop if he was dead. Are you kidding me? Yes, I'm not kidding you. Well, Obviously, it's not, like I mean, how can you? Uh, I mean, you you're know, dead. First, first, I thought you were a nice guy. You will not hurt my feeling. I was talking about my grandmother. And look what you told me now, she is telling a lie. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, like, you asked me what do I think, so I taught you what I think, right? Okay, so you are being honest with me now. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. impossible. Well, this, story you're is, dead, you're, well, this you're, story is in the Quran. This story is in the Quran, chapter 34, verse number 14. Oh my God! You set me up, bro. You set me up. Exactly, so exactly, bad. brother. This is the candy. Do, this is the candy do, camera sorry. program, brother. This is candy camera program. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been. I always thought I was one step ahead of you, but yeah, you mm. got me. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so what do you think now? This is a story, isn't the Quran? And okay. nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. He's dead. Enter the termite. They ate his steak. When he ate the steak, when the termite ate the steak, he fell down. Um, when he fell down, so painly that if they had known and seen, they would not have tired him. Apparently, I don't see where it says one year. Oh, this is in the interpretation according to your prophet. It was one year, almost one year. But anyway, okay. think about it. You have a, you know, you, this is a king. What do you think? What kind of, uh -huh. what kind of wood he will use? You know, he will use a very fancy wood, right? Okay. Something not uh, cheap wood will die, you know. I mean, so it's very fancy wood, and mostly is covered by gold and silver. You never know. This is his staff, the king. So uh, uh, he died standing, holding the stick, and then the termite they start chewing. You know that they chew very. You know, the termite they are small, and their meal is like you know, like one bite a day. You know, something like this. So it took okay. them, according to the interpretation, and let me go and open the interpretation. Chapter 34, verse number 14. This is Ibn Kathir, you know. Uh, 34. And here, number 14. And but here, what if this was a miracle done by Allah? You never know. Absolutely, it's a miracle. I mean, the termite, they work with Allah. And the guy, nobody noticed. My friend, a second ago, you told me. But uh, the guy, you know, uh, no, um, people will notice. And okay, the wife, she come to talk to the man. He's dead standing. She, didn't she notice that this guy is not answering? But how do you know she came to talk to him? Well, he have wives. He have many. He was a king. <laughs> okay, okay, I get The guy is a okay. king. He's not a guy who live alone in a house in the middle of nowhere. He's a king. He have a kingdom. You know. Okay. And look here, brother. It's, read with me. It says here in the in that in the interpretation. Okay. Okay. Allah tell us how Suleiman, peace be upon him, he died, and how Allah concealed his death. What, uh, before, what, what uh, tafsir is this? This is tafsir uh, Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir? Yeah. Okay. Ibn Kathir is the neighbor of Kathir, you know? His okay. Because the neighbor, his name is Kathir, and he was sleeping with his mother. That's why he's Ibn Kathir. So he's the son of the neighbor. So anyway, okay. uh, how Suleiman, peace be upon him, died, and Allah concealed his death, from the jinn who were subjugated to him to do hard labor 
That's deep. You know, I have Genie work for me, by the way, in the yard now. He remained leaning on his stick, leaning in his stick. Look at this, which he wa was his staff. Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas is the cousin of your prophet. May Allah pleased okay. with him, said, and Mujahid, those are companion, and Al Hassan and Qutada, blah, 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 blah. And by the way, Imam Murrah there too. And others said, he stayed, he stayed like a that. Long time, yeah, 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 I see, I see. He stayed yeah, yeah. like that for a long time, nearly okay. a year. <laughs> nearly a year. <laughs> okay, okay. And listen, no, no, brother, the story is not over, right? And when the creature of the earth, brother, which was kind of warm, like termite, who ate through the stick, it become weak, and he fell in the ground, and become apparent that he died. What do you think about this story? Um, um, um? Uh, uh, no, hold on, no, hold on. Just after, it, after this amazing story, just... you are saying to me, um? If I am you, I will use all the alphabet. I will say A, B, C, D, F, Y, M. This is what you come with? I, M alone? I'm, this is a miracle, brother. No. Takbir. Um, I just, what M? I'm what just... M? What M? What hum? I'm really upset from you now. This is a miracle. <laughs> we'll take you all the alphabet. You cannot express how beautiful it is. Unbelievable. Termite. Like, look who is the, 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 the hero of the stories. Allah. Suleiman. The stick. Mm -hmm. And termite. And genie, for yeah, sure. Don't forget the genie. The, the crowd is the genie. How do we not know it happened, though? Huh? <laughs> how do we not know it didn't happen, though? My friend, if you don't believe in such a garbage, there's nobody can make you, you know, I don't know. I, I, I did my part. Obviously, you don't want to be convinced. It's up to you. But you know, those, obviously, this is No, stupid. but I said contradictions because this is just a story. I mean, this makes our, the my, story. My friend, my friend, contradiction. This is contradiction. This is contradiction. Because why did not notice that he did not, or he's not dead? Why did not notice? Not because Allah made them not to notice, because he is standing, leaning in his stick. Can you t can you show me about the baby verse, the how the baby is made in um, in twenty three fourteen of the Quran? Uh, yeah. <laughs> first, first of all, who made the baby? Who made the baby? It was the. Parents, right? You no. Know, the Quran says that the one who made the baby is the best of the creators. Okay. okay. Best of the creators. Mm. What do you mean? Well, according to Muslims, there's many creators and Allah is the best. No, we have one creator. Okay, you mentioned to me contradiction, correct? Yeah. Okay. If Allah, he mentioned that he is the creator, and then he say he is the best of the creators. Is that contradiction? If Allah says what? Sorry. If Allah he said I am the creator. Uh huh. Okay. And then in different place he said I am the best of the creators. Where does he say I am the the creator? Where? Chapter twenty three, verse number fourteen, and this is where he speak about the baby creation. Yeah, but where, and this is the best of the creators I see on the screen, but, but where does it say I'm the only creator or the creator? Oh, okay, so uh, uh, let us see, we go here, different verse Because the I heard you say Ahad does not mean one also. Yeah, but this is another, another story. Yeah. But if we go, chapter 2, verse number 29, it says, It is him. Who created everything in earth? Okay. Okay. Is that confirmed that he is the only one who created everything? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then if we go to the other verse, it says he is the best of the creators. So which one is of them is true? Yeah, but humans are creators. No, in no, a way my friend. No, we... no. You see, creator in a in a in a, in a term of a religion is somebody. That's <clears throat> why here he is talking about creating the baby. Creator is someone who can give life. Not somebody who made a bicycle. This is not a creation. This is a creative, not a creation. Being creative is to use material we have, you know, to make a machine. But the machine is not uh, heart and blood. And, and this is why the Quran in different verse says, how are you going to worship gods who cannot even make a fly? Okay. okay so the Quran confirmed that the one who deserves to be worshipped is the one who... Can make a fly. This is a chapter. Okay. 
This is the chapter 22, verse number 73. So uh, uh, he said to them, are you going, are you going, are you calling, which means God, instead of Allah, those gods who don't have a power even to create even a fly? Okay. So if you create a fly, you deserve <laughs> to be worshipped, correct? Yeah, okay. according to that verse, yeah. All right. This is a chapter 22, verse number 73. Now we go to the other verse. And then when Allah, he says, Allah is the one who created everything in earth. So he confirmed that there's no other person who created it beside him. And then we go to the other person, and this, this is chapter, 20, chapter 2, verse 29. And then we go to the other verse here, chapter 23, verse number 14, where it says Allah is the best of the creators. So is Allah is the only one who created everything in the earth? Or Allah is the best of the creators who create many things in the earth? Um, I don't know what he means by creators, though. What does that mean? Creators mean creators. I mean, come on, even this one, we need need a dictionary. The, the creators. <laughs> yeah, okay, well... Uh, well, I'll ask the, the Imam, but because I never heard of this thing, so... No, hold on. Why you need to ask? You can ask an Imam as you wish. This is not my business now. But I'm asking yeah. you why you need even to ask an Imam about such a thing. It says creators. He will say to you the same. He will say to you bicycle. Somebody made a bicycle. But they can't explain yeah. it. But creator, I just showed you, according to Islam, the one who is a creator is the one who can create a fly. Quran, okay, yeah, yeah, Quran okay. give definition yeah. for that, not me. So okay. making a bicycle is not a creator. This is a creative. Building a house yeah. and being a creative. Uh, uh, you know, making a truck, this is yeah. a creative. No, because we have all the elements on earth anyway, so we just make things, put them together, okay. right? Now, the one who can create a fly is the creator, and yeah. Allah is saying he is the best of the creators. That means <clears throat> there's others who they are a creator too. Okay. This is the contradiction. Well, now, hold on. We just, we, <laughs> just, we just showed you the verse where it says, if you can create a fly, yeah. You are God, right? Yeah. Okay, chapter 22, verse number 73. But isn't the Quran says that Jesus, he created from the mother bird? Yeah. Okay, so the one who can by create whose, a fly. But, 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 but by whose will, though, at the, at the end of that? doesn't matter. The, who is the creator now? Jesus. The, the, the Quran claimed that uh, Allah gave Jesus the power. No problem. But he have it now. He's a creator. All right, okay. Okay, so how Allah is the only creator who created everything in the earth, and Jesus, he created birds. So he did not, Allah did not create everything in earth. Uh, but, but he did, like, oh, I'm, <laughs> but Jesus only made a bird, though, not the My earth. friend, my friend, if he made one bird or 10,000 chicken, doesn't matter. Is everything in earth is made by Allah or there is some yeah. of it or something, some of it made by Jesus? Well, there was one fly that was made by G, by, I mean, one bird made by First of all, Jesus. where it says there's only one fly or one bird, where it says that? <laughs> it says, I create for you, I create for you from the mud, a bird, I breathe in a it. A bird, yeah. Yeah. A bird, so, not does, birds. It doesn't matter. You know, he's saying, I create for you a, a bird. Okay. A, a person okay. who can create a bird, he can create birds. Okay. Or what you need to do, just fashion ten uh, 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 piece of mud, mud yeah. and breathe, and he breathe, and, and he breathe, you know, I, I breathe, okay. and I breathe into it. Okay. So the Quran okay. is a full of, is a full of is contradiction stories because if Allah is the only one can create, then why Jesus have the ability of a creation? And if you say, well, Allah He gave him the power, that will not change the fact. First of all, there's no proof that Allah gave him any power. This is. One man claim after after Jesus six hundred years, but that what will confirm to us that Jesus is a very special person. No one like him. He is the only one between all who so called messengers in Islam. He can create from the mother bird. He can make the blind see. He can resurrect people from death. Nobody ever can do that. So here yeah. we see that even Jesus can tell you what you hide in your houses. Muhammad he cannot. So. Jesus, he have the he have the knowledge of the unseen. The Quran says only Allah have knowledge of unseen. 
Jesus, he can resurrect people from death, and the Quran says only God can resurrect. And Jesus can create, and the Quran says only God can create. All of this is contradiction. And then you ask yourself, why Jesus have all this power and Muhammad have zero? While Muhammad was busy swearing by the fig, Jesus was making the blind see, making the dead alive, creating birds from the clay, and healing thousands of people. So why Jesus is all of those and Muhammad is zero? And why Jesus is the creator? Why Allah, why Allah gave him the ability for creation? What is the point? Uh, miracles to okay. show people what why he did not give in. it to anyone else. Why he did not give it to Muhammad? Muhammad, Muhammad the Muslim believed that Muhammad, his children, they die, and he was crying so hard. Correct? Yeah. Okay. If Jesus was there, he can touch the kid and he make him alive. But you said in one in the book, uh, in one of the books and your videos, that mo to a guy that Muhammad has no children. That this was Fatima's previous husband's children. I'm, talking about, I'm children. talking about your belief, not my belief. I believe Muhammad penis never work. I can prove it. Okay. Muhammad himself, okay. he says, I was the most weak person between mankind, and then right. I invoke my God, and He sent me a dish of shish kebab. Well, it kind of uh, makes it kind of uh, makes sense too because. Um, Khatija was in her 40s, right? So how could she get She was birth old, to she cannot have children? kids. Yes, she cannot have kids. And uh, Fatima, she was the youngest. This is why she, uh, she is considered like a child for Muhammad, because she grew in his uh, in his lap, let us say, you know? So, yeah, okay. uh, but she is not really his child, you know? She is not. Muhammad cannot have kids. Uh, Can you just go to 23, 14, and just explain to, that, to me how the baby is made? Because we do not need to go to, no we, do not, we do not need to go to different verse. The same verse, the one we mentioned to you about creating the baby, Allah is the best of the creators. Is the no, same. but not the creators. I uh, about I know, how the I know. baby it's is about, made. About the baby, about the baby. Yes, the baby here. Yeah. If you go here, let's see. The same one. It says that you said it's a, You said that it goes into dead blood and and something like that. Yeah, the same one mentioned al khaliqin which means the creators, is the same one yeah. making that popo. Here we go, chapter twenty three, verse number fourteen, and mentioned in different verse two. Here it says, and we made the notfa into a clot, a piece of thick congealed blood. <clears throat> Do you see it? What is what is notfa mean? Uh, notfa is a sperm. Notfa okay. is a water. And what's the congealed is, is a, blood is a, is a in Arabic? Notfa is a liquid, you know, of uh, semen. Yeah, you know? yeah. And what's the congealed blood in Arabic? Mudra. Alaka, sorry. Alaka. 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 Okay. Alaka. When, you get, when means... you get when you get injured, when you get injured, and the blood make uh, like a dead blood in the top, like a batch over your skin. Dried blood. Dried blood. Yeah. Right. This is alaka. Okay. Okay. So, and Bob, why does uh, Sheikh, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, Sheikh Uthman, I've been watching him for two years, and he says that this this is a very big miracle because he said that alaka means like a leech and the baby in the womb is, is when, shaped when like he say, that. When he say like a leech, where in the verse it says like a leech? Where is the word? Well, he said a leech, like, you know. See, we made it, and then you see. We made it alaqa. The sperm became a alaqa. The sperm. So the stupid guy you are talking about him, he just told you that the the sperm become dead blood. But he says alaqa means he didn't. I never heard him say alaqa means dead blood. I mean, my friend, my blood. friend, who is this guy even to say what to say? This is the Muslim translation, and I can show you the interpretation. Who translated Alaka. this? Alaka, the, uh, and this is here translation. I don't care for translation, by the way. I can change it for you. But who you okay. who you who you consider to be uh, a person who knows a About guy who does not even know how to read the Quran, who cannot even write it. When when two Christians they come to him and they show him, they ask him to write. He have to look at the Quran so he can copy the word. He can't even write it. So, or right. your scholars. My scholars, obviously. Okay, which scholars you want me to show you? Name one. Um, anyone? Anyone? I heard of this one. His uh, name is his, his name is anyone. I know him. Okay, hold on. No, this no, is a chapter uh, twenty three. No. Hold on, I will show you anyone. Okay, it, I will show you okay. anyone. No problem. Anyone is good. Anyone? What's wrong with anyone? But you said let me choose. I'm gonna choose. Okay, I, I ask you to choose. You said anyone. Okay, Ibn Abbas or Jalalain. Okay, Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas. Okay. Yeah. 
Ibn Abbas is anyone anyway. I mean, we never met him. He can't be anything. So this is Ibn Abbas. All right. He's like the biggest scholar in Islam, right? Okay, exactly, biggest... exactly. He's the cousin of Muhammad. Read with me. This is Ibn Abbas. He said, then we fashioned, we transformed the drop into a clot. You see the word a clot? Yeah. A clot. But what does that clot mean? A clot. What does it mean by clot? A clot is a solid blood. Clot. Okay. Okay. Don't you know what a clot? Go to the dictionary, open it. And this I know what a clot okay. is, but, but, yeah, but like, like no, clot, how is, does that, how a does human that being, he died by heart attack happened by a clot, <clears throat> right? Right. Okay, what is the clot? The clot. The clot. Dead blood going in your vein, right? Into a clot, okay. Okay, for another 40 days, so according to Muhammad too, because there's a hadith about it, we can show you. Oh, okay, a clot in the body, okay, okay, <clears> yeah. yeah. Okay, go so on. here he was saying that, he, the sperm become a dead blood for 40 days and then he fashioned it the clot into a little lump for another 40 days and then we fashioned the lump uh, into bones uh -huh. without flesh no. and then at the end the flesh came so here listen carefully you said Ibn Abbas, but, but, Ibn um... Abbas. Do you want me to show you? Do bones not grow first and then flesh after? My friend, or do they grow the process of a baby, everything is, is developing in the same time. So uh, the cells, they start being, uh, uh, you know, like exist in the early stages, and but they will not become like a heart, heartful heart until a certain time. But the, the heart cell is there, you know? The cells right. who make the heart are there, and the cells who make the, uh, the liver is there, etc. And anyway, you can go to uh, scientific, okay, not, okay. nothing to do with the Christianity or Islam, just pure search yourself, scientific, how the baby is created, or is baby in various stages. Okay. And you will see none of this is true, because simply the sperm will not become anything. The sperm is not the one who will become something. The sperm will go and fertilize the egg. And the one who will start yeah, growing, yeah, and the yeah. one who start growing is the egg, you know? Because okay. it says there we transformed the the drop into so yeah yeah okay, okay. and not only that I can the show you the sperm does not transform into anything it's the egg right yes the egg the egg, the, okay. the the sperm will go fertilize and they will deliver the DNA you know from okay. the man at the same okay. time and then the egg will start multiplying and it multiply the DNA of the person of the male too here. This is the Ajalarin. You said, show me Ajalarin too. Yeah. Then we transform the drop of semen into a clot, congealed blood. You know what congealed blood oh, is? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what, it's dried, yeah. What is congealed blood is? And congealed blood is like dried blood on top of the dry, skin, and it's not dry, like liquid. Dry, solid blood. Is that yeah, your, is that your scholar, or this is Christian Prince lying here? Uh, let me we transform the drop of semen into country blood. Yeah, no, that's Jalalain, yeah. Mm. But is that your, yeah. uh, okay, this is your <clears throat> official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan? Yeah, no, I agree that mm. this is, uh, okay, Tafsir, yeah, and it's Jalalain. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree that, so Alaka in Arabic doesn't mean leech, it means I mean, this is a false, like this is a, you know, they try to fix it, saying leech, nowhere it says leech, so that, so, and secondly, you know, the, the, the what's the word for leech in Arabic? Um, leech in Arabic, uh, Alec, right? Or something, well, yeah, you, you know, you have to add, you have to add to it to make it something. As an example, in Arabic, uh, when the Quran speaks, he says, We made the, the, the sperm into uh, a clot or congealed blood clot, uh, and this is a clot actually. Uh, when you want to say that there is an uh, like there is there is a there is kind of an insect which suck the blood you know which attach yourself itself to the to the skin let us say you go to a dirty water you know and then there is come some kind of worms or something like that yeah, yeah and those yeah. they they make a hole in your uh, in your skin and they start sucking the blood this one they call it alakatu you know. But this okay. is but this is not the case because is, this is what I'm talking about an insect, and not like an insect. It says we made it into a clot of congealed blood. 
you know, and those are the okay. scars of Islam, and they understand Arabic very well, right? Right. And those yeah, are yeah. the ancient scars. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad. Right. Okay. Now, actually, let us go to the Hadith. I mean, who understands the Quran better than Muhammad? Nobody, right? Well, probably Allah, but. I mean, but yeah, uh, yeah, but, uh, I mean the second, yeah. yeah, so who can understand it? Uh, and, you know, I mean, the one who brought the Quran for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So here, you will see here, it says, Allah, he gathered each one of you in the, in the belly of his mother 40 days as a sperm. Okay. Okay. Is that true or false? Is what true? 40 days in the womb? How long the sperm, actually, by the way, in Arabic, yeah. it doesn't say uh, womb, it says uh, uh, the belly of the mother, the belly. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How long does the semen can live? Um, Like a few days, I think like four or five days, something like that. I think maximum, days. maybe. Yeah, let us see. Uh, let, let me ask Prophet five, Google. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just to confirm, I'm, I'm not a doctor, you know, I was a doctor for three years. And then, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. I decided to, to, to work as a, uh, as a butcher because it's very close. So up to five days, according to Prophet Google, peace be upon him, it says my clinic, my clinic, my, my, my clinic. Do you hear me? Hello? Hello? Are you there? Are you there? Hello? Yes. Are you there? Can you hear me now? Do you hear me? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Yes. Do you hear me now? Do you hear me now? I can't hear you. Why you cannot hear me? Okay, let me call you back. Hold on. Don't call me. I will call you back. <laughs> Hello. Right. Yes. Oh, do you hear me now? Okay. Yeah, yeah. According to Prophet, his name is Mayo Clinic. Semen, okay. sperm can remain alive to maximum of five days. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Okay. Okay. So when Muhammad he says 40 days, it's a lie. Okay. So this is the semen alone. And then the semen become, the Muslim here, the lie in translation saying become a clinging. No, it says become a clot, not became a clinging. And then uh, that a clot become uh, like a piece of meat. And this is the hadith okay. here. The message of Allah, he said, uh, verily the creation of each one of you brought together in his mother womb for 40 days in the form of semen, you know, nutfa, a drop, and it become alaqa, a clot of a blood. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. It. So now yeah. go and search and find who is the doctor, he agree, that the first stage of a baby is semen become blood. Right, we all know that sperm goes to the egg, right? Yeah, and this is okay. for 40 days. So 40 days as a semen, then 40 days as a dead blood, and then first 40 days as a, like, you know, as a, a little bit. What does it mean by when it says clinging blood? Because I saw some translations, it says clinging it's a lie. blood. As you see, something. this is the same website here. It says a clot of a blood, correct? But what does clinging mean, though? It doesn't does that say that, though? doesn't say that. That's a lie. Okay. Alaqa is dead blood. It's clot of blood. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, and this is okay. the, this is the same website. This is the same. You know, I mean, why, why Muslims even? If, is if, this Sahih? Can you show me if this is Sahih, please? Uh, yeah, this is. I mean, they don't say here it's Sahih or not, but here it says okay. this is coming from Al Bukhari and Muslim. Okay. okay. You see, you see, it says Al Bukhari, Bukhari okay, and Muslim. Yeah. yeah. Bukhari and Muslim. Here we go. This is Al Bukhari. That this is a Bukhari now, a clot yes. of thick blood. Do you see it? This is even more clear. Yeah. 
And this is the translation of who? The Muslims, right? Right. So people like this uh, Sheikh Uthman, they are the dummy one, try to fix it, duct tape, shame on them. They have no, you see, a true believer, he say, well, this is what Muhammad said. You like it, like it, you don't like it, who care? Right. But when they, try, when they start lying about what their prophet taught and what he meant in the Quran, and then we got them busted from what Muhammad said, and this is a Muslim translation. Okay. Right? Okay. And this is Sunnah. Okay, I, I, I agree that Alaka means congealed blood. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to make Hadith that. Hadith al Bukhari, Hadith number 3208. So, not only the okay. congealed blood is a pro everything here is saying is uh, because according to this, you are going to be created in 120 days. You are finished. You know, 40 days as a sperm, 40 days as a clot, 40 days as a mudra. You know? Okay. And uh, okay. Uh, uh, I mean, th this is really stupid. Uh, and it's up to you. You want to still believe in Islam after all of this? Well, well this is like a mistake. I, uh, 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 can you, like, why is that, like, if I become Christian, why should I be, like, what is Christianity, like, about? Like, don't, don't go to Christianity right now. We want to finish with Islam. What do you think about Muhammad now? Are you convinced that he's a false prophet? Well, the things you showed me, just, I don't know, I'm just, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's not what I've been told, basically. That's, let me just say that I, I haven't, I haven't, nobody told me these things, like, you know. So me and you, Because I agree. was like, I was like a reverted Muslim, like, I, I, like I'm like, because only like six, maybe seven months ago, I reverted to Islam. And now I'm just, and like, I pray. There's I, nothing that's called reverted. Reverted, if you are coming from the same religion. Uh, it's from a, like a, a cult to uh, uh, the same religion, but you don't, Muslim, they don't have the same God. We don't have the same God of Islam. So rever uh, reverted is a false statement. Secondly, no, are, you saying, Islam, are you saying born, that you used to be you, Muslim? What, so what you used to be? I wasn't like I was, well, I was born in a Christian family, but I left. I was 80. I was like agnostic for a few years. Then I became hmm. a Muslim. So you were agnostic and you Muslims. became, a, a not, not you did not revert. You became a pervert. Because when you convert no. to Islam, no, don't be insulted. I'm not insulting you. You know, when you converted to Islam, you become a pervert who believed that there's a God who will make your penis endless and he will give you a lot of women to F them if you believe in him. This is pervert belief. No, that's not this true. This is what it is. You believe then, when you become a Muslim, that you can have sex with the children. Didn't Muhammad I have don't sex? believe that. Well, it's not yeah, up to you. he did that, but that it's was because back you. then if it the, was a tradition. Okay, you are saying to me that the best man, who is the best example for you, he did it, but you will not do it. You are better than him. No, because back then it was normal. There's nothing the called Jewish normal, my friend. A child is a child. Even dogs don't do that. I mean, come on. You know, a dog, if you don't, he, he sniff, he sniff the, 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 the dog. And if she is a female ready, he go for her. If she is not, he would not. Have you ever heard to see a big dog jumping over? A, 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 a... No, I haven't. I haven't. Okay, but even dogs like... don't do that. So, uh, uh, so this is Muhammad. He is a human being. He is not a dog, supposedly. And he is doing what dogs don't do. So, when, uh, when somebody... But what if back, but back then the nine-year-olds were mature, like compared what to mature, now today? mature, my friend? Even Aisha, even the Hadith says that Aisha, she never have her period until she passed the 14 after no, 14 there's no such no muslim no there's no she was nine he waited till she was nine no 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 i'm saying that aisha she did not no first of all he married her at the age of six so by six she is his wife he was molesting her playing with her private part until she become nine and then he did intercourse yeah, why did he wait those three years? Because he will kill her if she uh, she is so small, obviously. No, he won't kill her. How can you kill somebody like you that? You can't kill a child. You can't kill a child. If you if you if you are a growing man and you rape a child, you can't kill her. She will bleed to death. What do you yeah, mean you can't kill her? But but that's why he waited till she was nine. Okay. So obviously she menstruated oh, right. when she was nine. No, she is not. I can show you even the reference. If you go to the Middle East or even here in Europe, there's or anywhere, there's a lot of kids that mature at nine, ten. Oh, okay. But okay, what we will do with the reference says that Aisha at the age of fourteen still she don't have. Okay, show me. Okay, show me. Okay, show hold me. on. Let me show you. Give me a second. But 
by the way, all David Wood does is just talk about Aisha and Muhammad being this like a like a marrying her at six. That's all he, I keep like, and he just keeps popping up on my YouTube thing. So yeah, what, do you, what do you want him to talk about? I mean, this is the first because the he does he does he like I the, Sheikh Uthman destroyed him when he really? was every he keeps coming down and he keeps trying to prove the Quran wrong and he no, keeps getting back friend. The, your Sheikh Uthman is a potato. He never destroyed. They show him Sahih Hadith. He can deny it. He says this is daif. And the fact, it is not daif. So, you know, this guy is a joker. And by the Why, way, but in the, uh, listen, in the listen, Quran, listen, Allah listen. says he created all mankind from water. And that's actually scientifically true. No, that's not scientifically true. This is against the Quran. Yes, we, all, we have no, mostly water. No, no, no. Is rocks made from water? No. Okay. Isn't Muhammad he said that? Well, the... I said mankind, not no, rocks. No, no, no. Mankind. The Quran says everything is created from water. Every every living thing. The Quran but it says mankind in the English translation. No, 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 no. I will, I will show. We go there. Let us read this one first. Do you see the hadith okay. in front of us about Aisha? Yeah. Okay. I used wait, to pray. Wait, 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 wait. Um, it won't. It's slowly coming up. Okay. Go ahead. I used to play with the dolls in the presence of the prophet. She's playing with the dolls. Okay. Okay. This was before, obviously. Okay, She's ahead. a wife now. And my okay. girlfriend also used to play with me. So this is in the house of Muhammad when she is a wife. Okay. And Allah Messenger used to enter my dwelling, my room, and they used to hide themselves. They are just a bunch of kids. But the prophet okay. would call them to join to play with me. <laughs> hey, come, come, come back. Play with her. Play with her. And they're okay. playing with dolls. Similar image is forbidden. But it was allowed at that time for Aisha as she was little girl and not reach the age of puberty. Do you see it? Uh, I heard this hadith in the speaker's corner. Uh, um, uh, Shamsi said that the last part, fat, all, what's his name, uh, Barry or something, <laughs> Uh, that par last part in brackets, the, mm. the things in brackets, those are added on. They're not so, like. Um, but this is Sahih Bukhari, and this is your pro this is your scholars. So the scholars they say you take you take what what uh, some see say, the guy who have no teeth. <laughs> I mean, this is funny. So this is what you must them do. A guy from in this like this guy Uthman, he do not yeah. know even how to say his prophet name correctly. You take his words against what the scholar. This is this is really scholar. How do you say? How do you say? I say Muhammad. Is that how you say? Muhammad. Yes, Muhammad. And Muslims say Muhammad. Is that what you're trying to say? They say Muhammad. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So listen, this is this is Al Bukhari. Which one is a trustworthy for the Muhammadan? Abdul Uthman, the shoppy boy, or Al Bukhari? Al Bukhari, but like okay. I said, the ones in brackets are not part of Al Bukhari. But the no, I, it's I part. It's the part. No, 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 my friend, my friend. Fatih al Bari, fi sarhi Sahih al Bukhari. This is explanation for Al Bukhari. So when he explained that, he is confirming that he is not. Where did he get this information from? Just out of his own you, mind, or no, from you, other sources? Uh, the same as Al Bukhari. Where he got this information from? So you are. So how come? How come? How you come? You don't ask Shamsi, the guy in the street, the guy who have no teeth. Where do you get this information from? <laughs> he was there. Yeah. No. Okay, he's a scholar. No. So who is he? A YouTuber? He's just a you part of the Dawah he's, team. He's YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. Well, he has a lot of knowledge. Hey, my, my friend, my friend. What is confirmed is that she is now my wife. She is okay. in the bedroom of Muhammad, and still she is playing with the dolls. Can we confirm that now? Yes, I agree with okay. that, yes. So what kind of a prophet, what is the interest of a man at this age? To go How after... old was he? Uh, Muhammad, when he married her, he was 54 51, years old. 51, right? 54... No, he was 51. No, he was 54 years old. No, Shamsi said he was 51 and 54 when, he, when she was nine. And in okay, 63, okay, when he died, so is, is, because is, in the is that make it better, my friend? Is, 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 is that make it even? 18, he died. My friend, is that making it better? No, it's not. But I'm just saying that, like information. No, you, what you what you what you are saying, information. This is not information because simply, 51, 54 is ugly, because the guy is so old for her, and she is so young. She is so child. 
Okay, let me and ask she you, how old plane. was I? How old, when did Muhammad die? It's 63, right? 63 years yeah. of age. <clears throat> and Aisha in Sahih al-Bukhari, she was 18. She said herself when Muhammad died. Yeah. So if she was 18 and he was 63, hmm. then you, when she was nine, you can just calculate that. So what do you mean? He would have been 54. He was 54 uh -huh. when she was uh, nine years old. Because... Um, uh, yeah. You know, uh, so she, okay, she okay, 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 my friend, my friend, if nine, Muhammad okay. was even 40, let us say he was 30, you know what, okay. he was 18, are you happy now? Aisha, <laughs> when okay. Muhammad, he died, she was going in her 18, and remember, Islamic calendar, if she is 6, that means she is 5, if she is 7, that means she is 6. Yeah, I heard that, yeah. All right, so she was, in, in, in our calendar, she was not even 6. And the same so see, time, he was 53 and she was 8, is that what you're trying she, to say? And for me, I believe he was 54, and this is your Islamic number, you can calculate as you want, because I have, okay. I, I put reference from many places together to, to come to a conclusion, I don't put it from one, okay. one, one what phrase. What do you say about those Muslims who say she was 18? Because there's books written on well, it from, the Muslims uh, the Muslim they have fatwas making fun of those who say she was 18. You know, and if if the Muslim, she's, they say she was 18, then the Quran and the Hadith is a, is a fraud. Because Aisha, she Why, said, where in the Quran says that? Well, the Quran, there's a chapter, it's called the chapter of divorce, speaking about divorcing children who never have their menstruation. No, that's not children, that's not, the, Nisa in our, Al-Nisa al means women, not not children. In, no, Nisa means women, I agree, you know, but yeah. here it's coming, it's, the chapter is called the chapter of Nisa, you know. Uh, the, the yeah, the women, talking about. but children yeah, But we are, are not talking women. about that chapter. We are um, my friend, Islam, my friend, my friend, my friend. When she used to reach the age of puberty. My friend, we are not even talking about the chapter of Anissa. We are okay. talking about, we are talking about chapter 65, verse number four. Four. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm trying right. to say. The okay. verse is Al-Nisa. Okay. Read with me carefully. When they say okay. of your women, you know, this is, this is the wrong uh, uh, phrase made by Allah. Why? Because why those women, they don't have their period yet, if they are women? How you call because them? Because there's men, no, 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 because there's many women, even in this society, in this world today, that cannot actually ha that have something like uh, medical problems that they cannot have okay. uh, uh, menstruation, the and they are okay. women. Uh, are you making explanation for the verse now because you are a scholar, or you are making things according to your understanding? Up. No, but you asked me if she's a woman, okay. why is she Aren't you the one who says to me, I like Ibn Abbas? Okay, go to Ibn Abbas. Okay, Ibn, Ibn Abbas is the biggest scholar. You are the one who named him. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. and this is the chapter 65. Okay. And this is verse number four. And let us see what Ibn Abbas will say. Here we go. Okay. All right, read with me. Okay. And those who have not yet menstruated, because of oh. their young age, their period shall also be three months. Do you see it? Yeah, but where is that in the verse in the Quran? Ah, there, those see? <laughs> you, but you, a second ago, you accepted Samsi. You accepted Uthman. Now we have the one who Muhammad named him to be the, 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 the he said, umma, which means the ink of, of knowledge. Of the umma, yeah. Yeah, so the one who is the ink of knowledge by the mouth of Muhammad is a potato. But, uh, okay, but, but I'm not denying uh, some it. See, I haven't said that. But some I'm see, not denying it. A bunch of thieves. Of his deny. friends, you know, it is a video of him. Uh, his friends, his, you know, his. Uh, they, they are they are robbing people. He went to them. He says, "Brother, we can't rob those Muslim. He's a Muslim. We can't rob him. Which means we can't rob a Christian. We can't rob a Muslim." He said in speaker's corner to a Christian that Allah does not enter His creation like God in this, in Christianity. Well, that is for too because we can show you that again. Because yeah. Allah does not need to enter his creation. Yeah. Uh, there's, a video of me, there's a video of Mimi Hijab saying, yes, Allah, he entered his creation. This guy is stupid. But well, he said he doesn't. We can prove that to be the opposite. But now, focus with me. We don't want to keep okay. jumping like monkeys from place to place. Do you see here it says, because of their young ages? Yes, I see that. I okay. understand that. Do you think really Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, the companion, he have a wrong understanding of the Quran, and Samsi, from a speaker corner, he had a better <laughs> understanding? No, but I know yeah. Muhammad Hijab well, you know, my friend, that when, this is, uh, when a Muslim he starts saying but, have, yeah. when a Muslim he starts saying but, say hello to but. 
But, you know what, but? I mean, we just confirm, you can say to me, Mimi Hijab, says she, 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 Hijab. This is Ibn Abbas. What but? Okay, I agree. But okay, so the, why you are bringing why you are bringing but to our conversation? How does the verse explain it? But the verse says women, not young ages, though, right? My friend, no, it says because how they are women and they are very young. It says in front of you why they are not having uh, a period because of their young ages. So they are but children. In young age, we so, don't call women my friend, in Islam so don't, young age. Don't bring the word but here. It doesn't work. It doesn't help you. Okay. No okay. but. You know, the but okay. of Mimi Hijab will not help you, and the but of uh, Samsi will not help you, because simply. So what you're saying is this verse allows pedophilia. Well, Muhammad is not only uh, allow pedophilia because you, you see when a, when a child, uh, uh, in the one you mentioned, Mimi Hijab, right? He says yes. yes there is no place in the Quran it says the age. What age? You know, and. Most yeah. Muslim agree that you can have <laughs> okay. you can have sexual relationship with a child, and there's no right. image, there's no limitation of any of yeah, age. Yeah, I heard him say that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, he said, if his daughter she is ready, he feels she is ready, mm -hmm. he will say to her, "Go for uh -huh. it." Right. Right. Okay. Ali Dawa said the same. Right. If she, if her, if his daughter All was right. nine. So too. if his daughter she is five and she is ready, what does that mean? She's horny. No, for marriage. But yeah, how how he knew she's ready for marriage? He opened the, the door. He saw her touching herself. I don't know, but they. The, but if she has no period yet, and she, what does that mean? I mean, how, what she is ready? This is this is a pedophile religion, and remember that that if Muhammad he says don't marry children, every Muslim will make fun of anyone who marry child. But because Muhammad did it, everybody is saying it's okay, it's true, it's fine, no problem, yeah. it is healthy, it is uh, scientific, you know. This is this is the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. The same one, okay. the same one they laugh at the Christians. You will see every Muslim making fun of the Jesus being God, but you will not see a Muslim making fun of Jesus being born of a virgin. Why? Because the Quran confirmed that. If that verse is not exist in the Quran, trust me, all the Abdul they will make him making fun of this. Islam is a religion of hypocrites, liars, and they are sneaky and they try to play like a snake. The second we show them the reference from their books and their their scholars, and this is the campaign of Muhammad and his cousin. Right away, you bring me the word "but." There's no "but" here. Either we accept. <laughs> Either we accept the butt of... Uh, I accept his tafsir. I accept Ibn Abbas because he's he's just, a, yeah, he's the biggest in Islam and he's, yeah. So, okay, so, so then don't mention to, to me Sisi and Susu and Dudu. They don't, they okay. don't work, you know? Okay. Yeah. And and not only that, uh, what the topic I said to you, uh, we'll talk about later? Uh, the water of, uh, yeah. of we mankind. Created, we created everything from water, right? Every yeah, thing. all okay. mankind, yeah, because no, it doesn't say, that, how could Allah friend, no, know this? No, it doesn't say uh, uh, mankind, in the reverse of the Quran says, we created every living thing from water, correct? Yeah, every living thing, yeah. All yeah. right. Is, Af, that's, I think that's the same verse as the two water seas, or okay. salt and water, fresh and thing. Okay, my friend, is shaitan created from water? Uh, no. Okay. But the Quran says we created every living thing from water. Okay. Shaitan is living thing or dead thing? He's living, yeah, he's existing. <laughs> so Allah, he did uh, make a poopoo here. Well, he, he's, he's given this Quran to us. So obviously it's for mankind, right? I know, but this is poopoo. Because when he say we made every living thing, water that's mean every living thing he did not say even a human he says every living thing even thing is made of water the condition is if they are living so living thing is from water Muhammad he claimed that the stones are rocks they say to him assalamu alaikum they are living thing Muhammad he right. claimed that the black stone is going to come in the judgment day with mouth and tongue and eyes she is right, a okay she is a living thing and then we ask we just ask you is shaitan is the genie or living thing you said yes 
Are they created from water? The answer no. The Quran confirmed that shaitan yeah. and genie created from fire, right? Right. What about the angels? Are they created from water? The angels? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's a hadith uh, that Muhammad says that the angels and the the genies or shaitan were made from fire and light. The angels are light. The genie, yeah. yeah, the genie are made from uh, fire. From, fire, uh, yeah, yeah, and the angels are from light. Yeah, yeah. Me, me, no, <laughs> correct. So, uh, so how every living thing is made from water? Well, he he's he's obviously talking about humans, right? No, he said thing. Every yes. living thing. We have created all living things. No. Oh, okay. We created every living thing from water. He did not say uh, every living human. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. I get you. Yeah. yeah anything is living. Are is humans made... made out of all water? Like, or are we? Huh? Are humans made out of mostly water? Like, I know made out of mostly water, but did mostly we actually water, come yes. from it's water just, at it's first? True, mostly water, but it's not. We are not made from water only. You know. This is why when you burn a human being, like some uh, some practice people, they burn the dead person, like the Hindus, etc. So when right. you you know when you burn, there's leftover, right? It's not water. Right. The bones are not water. Uh, uh, there's many uh, like uh, many structures in your body are not water. And this right. is why when you die, the bones will be left. They are not water, otherwise we'll, we'll, the water will go, you know? So right. this is another mistake too, but as you see, this is a contradiction. Every living thing is made from water, but the angels are not made from water. And what about the Quran? The Quran is not a living thing because it's so? not like... Who said so? Well, it's a book, so how can it live? Who said it's a book? Uh, well, it's like, well, the, the words are not books, but they're compiled into a book written down. My friend, is it Allah he says or Muhammad said that the Quran will come as a uh, I don't know what the word in English Inspiration? No, he, he will uh, he will come as a pale man Okay, yeah huh. Did he say that? <clears throat> I never heard of that, no Okay, let me show you the hadith Okay The Quran will come as a white man? He will come as a pale man which means uh, like when a person he die you know, when a person yeah. he die, he lose his color. You know, like he, uh, his face will lose the color, the skin right, will lose right. the color. Yeah. So okay. this is your hadith. In the day of resurrection, the Quran will come as a pale man. So he will come as a man, but he is like a dead man. Is the Quran okay. made from a living water? From a, from water? No, because the word is from Allah. So it's okay. from his mind. So. You say to me. You mentioned now. Remember, you mentioned if God can be inside His creation or not, right? Yeah, in Islam He can't. Okay, Quran is not a created, correct? Quran is not created now. Okay, the one is not a created is the Quran, and now He is in the shape of a man. Is that a created person? Well, the Quran, sorry, the Quran comes from Allah's mind. So whether it existed in His mind, the, since there is nowhere, 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 Muslim believe that Allah have a mind anyway. You are making things up now. Not mine, but like his knowledge, basically. This is, again, this is a fabrication. Why? Because if the Quran is coming from Allah knowledge, that's mean Allah is the source of the Quran. But as long as you believe the Quran is not a created, that's mean the Quran is exist as Allah is exist by himself. Okay. You know? Okay, I never heard who I, I'm confused. Okay, okay, go ahead, show me the verse. Yeah. I mean, the fact that Allah enters his creation because the guy said no. So. No, here, first of all, we need to ask ourselves when the Quran come in a shape of a man, that's mean the Quran itself is going to be. But or, where it says he's come in a shape of a man? It's in the front of you. Like, <clears throat> but I can't see it. It's on the screen. <laughs> oh, pale man. Okay, I see it. Is it Sahih? Can you see? Can I see the? It grade? says Hassan. Hassan mean good. Okay. And Sunan, is that accepted too? Sunan Ibn Majah three seven uh, three seven eight one. Sorry. Um, okay. 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 The Quran will come on the day just mean like a pale man. Okay. Okay. Now. Um. Do okay. Allah do Allah go inside as a creation now? 
does Allah go? No, because the Quran is not Allah. Okay. No, Allah. He, he actually, a Muslim, have a problem because now we have to divine. If the word of Allah is divine, and Allah is divine, and Allah is not created, and the Quran is created, so we have any created too. Yeah, but Allah is above the seven heavens. Doesn't matter. Just, Doesn't matter. He never, my friend, he never enters the seven heavens. My never. friend, uh, hold on. As long as the Quran is not created, who cares where the Quran is? It's in the seven heaven or seven eleven. It's not created. Simple. <laughs> So okay. as long as it's not created, it's mean Allah has nothing to do with making the Quran come to existence. Right, okay. Okay, so the Quran is exist even if Allah doesn't exist. The Quran exists even if Allah never existed. Yes, because the Quran isn't created by Allah. Who said that the Quran is not created by Allah? You just said to me the Quran is not created. Well, I don't know if it's created or not, because it's from Allah, so how can My it friend, not be you created? You are the one who said to me a second ago, I asked you, is the Quran created? You said no. The Quran is created. Well, <laughs> I th I don't think so. Like, yeah. Okay, I so is the Quran, so. I want to confirm to me, is the Quran is it created or not created? <laughs> is the Quran created or not created? Um... Is the uh, the words like the the recitation of the words? Uh, well, you know, don't uh, play the game recitation. Who talking about uh, the Quran? The Quran, whatever Allah has said, is it created or not? It's from His knowledge. Oh, okay. Is it created or not? Is it? It's not created. No. Okay. So as long as it's not created, it means it's not created by Allah. If Allah have knowledge about the Quran, would that make me Allah too? Because I have knowledge of the Quran. No, okay, then it's not created. It is created, sorry, by Allah. Okay, yeah. as long as you just said it's a created, that's mean you left Islam because Muslims who believe Quran is a created are not Muslim no more. That's not true. Okay, here we go. Well, who told you? Nobody, nobody said no. To leave Islam, you have to not believe in Allah and Muhammad. Exactly. You believe in Allah and Muhammad, not, you know, uh, Muhammad is God. So here, if you go and search right now, no, uh, uh, search for a fatwa, you will see, is the Quran, is it created? They will see the answer, no. Muslim, they cannot believe in such a thing. Where does it say that? This is the fatwa. The Quran is the word of Allah. Maybe, may he exalted and, and, and is not created. Fatwa number, as you see here. Two, Can two, you send the link? Can two, you two, send seven. The link I will, the I will post it in the chat. I will post it in the chat. Yeah. You know, And here it says, he is debating somebody as a Christian. Maybe this is debating me. And uh, is asking if Allah is, uh, you know, uh, the Quran is created. You know, is the Quran is created or not? The answer, first, you know, the Quran is not created. The Quran so is the, the word Quran of Allah. If the Quran is not created, that doesn't mean that it's from Allah. Is that what you're saying? My friend, hold on. One by one. The Quran is the answer. This is the scars of, of, of Islam today. You know, the terrorists. Right. Okay. Right. The Quran is the, <laughs> the, court of, the, Quran is the word of Allah may be exalted and not created okay okay all right so if you believe that the quran not is created, created yeah. they will kill you the words of they, allah are not created. there's a caliphate he killed a man he, he killed him like a goat just because he said the quran is created you can go on search can about you just it. post the link for me please all right i will give you so anyway i will post the link yeah. and, and who is this uh uh, transmitted by who's like the art the... uh, this is one of the donkeys of Islam who who care I mean there's many donkeys I'm just showing you your donkeys what I can do okay yeah <laughs> some they say he's a big donkey mule maybe I don't know but he's a donkey <laughs> okay. for me yeah. Uh, yeah because this is how stupid this religion is they say to us there's one God and then they come to us and they say Quran is not a created so now we have God is not a created Quran is not a created this is stupid so if Quran is not created and Allah is not created, that means they are two individual and they are separated and they are not one like a, a entity. And when when the Quran then came to existence, it, it was eternal. As long as the Quran is eternal, that means it, it exists the same as Allah exists, independent from Allah, not part of Allah, and exists by itself. So now we have to divine. All right, okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, if you focus with me here, this is the Quran coming in the shape of a man, which is very stupid to say. But if you go, you will see that Allah himself will come in the shape of a 
you must understand yeah. to explain what shape is, but obviously, it's, uh, you know, a scary shape. Look at look at this hadith, and this is Sahih al Bukhari. They ask uh, uh, Muhammad, uh, <laughs> right, uh, right. are we going to see Allah? You know, are we going to see Allah? Muhammad, he says, yeah, Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. You know, you have to make some poopoo. -poo. It's a specialty. So, well, he's a prophet, yeah. Yeah, he's a prophet, so he has to make poopoo, -poo, <clears> you know, big poopoo. -poo. Uh, so are we going to see see Allah? They said, uh, yeah. Uh, are, are, do you have difficulty when you see the sun in a clear sky or the moon in a clear sky? They said, no. He said, this is how you will see Allah. But let us see here what Muhammad, he will say. Uh, where is the hadith? Read this hadith with me. This is Sahih Bukhari. Mm -hmm. Hadith number 4581. It says here that uh, long hadith, you know, we, we don't want to waste our time. It will go where Allah, he comes yeah. in a shape. So, when they ask him, are we going are we going to see Allah? He says, Yes, he will come to you in a shape. Uh -huh. Allah, the Lord of the world, would come to them in a shape nearest to the picture they had in their mind, which is a turtle. What, what? <laughs> yeah, well, don't laugh, tell me. What is the shape you have for your mind for Allah? Uh I don't have it. I never pictured him in a shape. Thank you. So Muhammad is a stupid here because what what image? What is image the Muslim they have in their mind? That is the most stupid comment ever. There's no Muslim that has, we can't paint, uh, we can't picture exactly. any Exactly, so how, what, so what is a stupid Muhammad saying in the shape nearest to the picture they have in their mind? So don't you know <laughs> first how you look like? Look I like don't... a turtle, octopus, like a monkey, donkey, what you look like? Then we don't know. So, in the nearest, look, look at the details, the nearest, you know, look what the hell? Okay. And <laughs> okay. then he continues saying, uh, so first Allah, he will come to you in a shape. Does it say shape? Yeah, it says okay. shape, yeah. Is, that the word, is, that, is the word shape present physical? Physique. A shape would be physical if it's coming to people, yeah. Yeah, shape is something something occupying a space. That's what shape is, right? Yeah. So he will come to them in a shape, and the Muslims will not believe in him. And then Allah will come to them in other shape. Okay. And then they will believe in him. So when Allah changing the shape, shape number one, shape number two, is Allah being inside his creation or there is two Allah? And Allah has two shapes. Uh, um, I don't know. Apparently to this hadith, he ha he's gone into two shapes. Yeah. Yeah. So... Obviously, Allah, even not only he have shape, he changed his shape. And shape is what is created in a space. Yeah, right. And Allah, obviously, is going inside his shape. So he is inside his creation. And there's many ways, actually, to prove this. But this is showing you how stupid Islam is. In one hand, this is how God can be inside a man, how God can be a man. And then they come to us and they say, Allah, go inside the shape, and this shape is a scary. Do you notice that the shape is a scary? Shape is scary. Yeah, shape like shaitan. Okay, but we've never seen shaitan, so how will we know what he looks like? Uh, Muhammad, he described him. He said that he is an African. African? Yes, okay. I want to show you. Muhammad is a very, uh... Muhammad is a very racist man. I heard some, yeah, I know there's some hadith that Yeah, Muhammad is a very racist. He hates black people, you know, which is disgusting yeah. of him to say so. But he describes always shaitan as a black person. Okay. And we, know, we know that this is absolutely false because, uh, uh, you know, the color of a, uh, uh, of a person does not make him evil or good. There's evil. Well, black. the, the, the color of his skin is uh, of the sun, so... Yeah, yeah. Is this, is, this is how we see actually the opposite. You know, the, the black person is a white person and the white person is a black person because the, the light which you don't observe is the light you see. The light which the body is not observing, you know. Well, we all came from Africa originally. So My friend, it doesn't matter where we are coming from. We are coming from Adam. We are all one family. So the Asian, the white, 
the black they are children of adam right so yeah. and that would that will delete all kind of racism and we should not be racist but when a filthy man like muhammad says the black dog is the devil shaitan right. is a black man actually according to the filthy muhammad the most person allah he hate is a black man okay you know but let us focus here in the shape so allah not only he have shape allah he changed his shape right okay okay yeah why Allah he changed his shape? What do you think? Why Allah changed his shape? Um... He's playing hide and seek. Look, he come to them in a shape. <laughs> it says here, Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they knew they know. And he will say, right. I am your Lord. They will say to him, Get lost. Get lost, you son of idiot. You are not our Allah. But in Islam, we in Islam we never believe that Allah will ever come in a shape or he has no, a shape. Do. No, you do. This is Sahih Bukhari. Yeah, but uh, according to this, I know, I understand no, that. According to all the scholars, go... no. According to scholars, you can search right now in YouTube. You will see Allah, He have hands, Allah have foot, Allah have fingers. and But they're and not the fingers like, they're not like They are shape, my friend. Yeah. Finger is a shape. Finger is a physical thing, you know? Right, okay. Uh, Do you see the story of Uthman? He was driving in the road. Uh, a guy gave him a finger, you know? They, Uthman. They come, yeah, they, they have a fight. So that is the finger. Yeah. Of, he gave him the finger of Allah. So Allah. The blood had, looks very fake Allah, to me, though. There was uh, blood looks fake, though a bit. Look like tomato sauce. I don't know. A like ketchup. <laughs> but anyway, uh, 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 Allah have five fingers. Why he have five fingers? Where does it say he has five fingers? Uh -huh. you go just right now. Search in YouTube. I mean, there's uh, endless reference, my friend. You, you okay. are a, you are a Muslim who knows nothing. I do. I never heard he has five fingers. Okay. I know he has if hands. If we go right now, but if we go right now, and uh, hands on the right side, right too. Okay, hold on. Um, uh oh, let us see. I was typing in Arabic. <clears throat> it's okay. Um. Okay, there's a video by Sheikh Asim. You know Sheikh Asim? Uh, yeah, I think so.